Oh, choo choo. Oh, my mic too loud? Looks like it's a little too loud. That might be better. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got nobody in here yet, but that's okay. We are just getting set up and ready to go. Don't mind me. <laughs> Chillin' kill time. What's up, Bulbasaur? Luffy the God. What's going on, guys? Y'all ready to hang out with Ali today? Best gamer Ali. He's coming. We are getting everything ready. Getting everything ready. Blasting out the final tweet. We're gonna tag time in this. See if we can get him to stop by. Wouldn't that be cool? Whoop. Is everybody having a good day today? You better be. Go get your drinks, go get your snacks. Get your drinks, your snacks, your stuffed animals, your favorite toy, whatever your whatever you need. Go get your drinks, go Whoop. get your snacks. Shut up, Freight. We don't need to hear you in the background. sure he can join up on my menu <laughs> what y'all think about that y'all got y'all got BGA on your friends list I feel special make sure we're on friends oh single player friends only Voice chat off, because we'll be on Discord. You know what's crazy, though, is I have never once 
joined up anybody's game. I don't know how. I don't know how he's gonna get in here. Do do do. Best gamer Ali. Do 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 do. Weird noise in the background. It's probably my fan. Oh, snap. Look who it is, boys. Best Gamer Ali has entered the chat room. This is the man we came to see today. Let me apologize to everybody. He was ready to do this like three weeks ago, but I kept going through stuff. Now I'm not going through stuff anymore. So this has, it's taken so long because of me, not because of BGA in any way. This is entirely my fault. He's been ready to go. <laughs> He's been ready. Oh snap. Here we go. Phone call's going. Hello. What's going on, buddy? I'm good, how are you? Not not bad, man. Not bad. What you up to? Um I think I was having my dinner and I was like, okay, I'm ready now. For yeah, so uh, to anybody who doesn't know, we are in totally different time zones. I think he's like 13 hours ahead of us. He's in the future right now, guys. We are talking to future man. Absolutely. <laughs> um, can you hear me properly, by the way? I can hear you fine. Awesome. Can you guys hear him good? Everybody hear everything fine? All the audio sound good? It should, but best to hear from them. Also trying to join you, um, making sure that you don't hear my voice again from my uh, headphones because it sometimes echoes <laughs> because I'm using my uh, external mic, which I usually use for my recording and all. So, what? don't move. It happens. <laughs> I gotta make sure everything is perfect. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm in the game. Yeah, I see you, man. Looking Go fresh, works. bro. And then... Dude, I gotta change. I gotta change my outfit. <laughs> this shit sucks. Oh, I can't spin you around or nothing. Where is it? I actually changed the outfit for a video, so that's why you see me having this reload outfit. That came with the pre-order, right? I think I got yeah. that too. Oh, you won't believe it. I, I can see this on stream, it's alright. Um, I actually got the key for the pre-order thing, uh, like, uh, after the release, like, months after the release of the game. It's, uh, through a third party, obviously, because, um, you know, originally, I actually pre-ordered the game. I had the, uh, the ultimate edition, but, uh, Techland was like, oh, we're gonna give you a key, and I'm like, hey, I'm getting a key from Techland, so I re, uh, I refunded my game, they gave me the key, um, but it was the standard edition with no pre-order bonus and nothing. I was like, oh shit. Oh, we'll give you the game. We're just not going to give you all the additional stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I had to buy them later on. I was, I was so... I was kind of pissed. I was like, alright, it's all good. At least I got the game like two or three days early and then everybody else. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's no... I've, ain't no developers ever given me no game. <laughs> time yeah you will get it i'm so confused where, where where the hell are we like 
Right. Um, Where is the entrance? I'm so confused. Oh, it's right here. Ah, oh, that's because I have the survivor's base here. So that's what was confused. It's basically the same. Yeah, I got the location. See, and... Oh, that's, that's weird. Which one should I wear? I like this one. Ooh. All right. Where are you at? Right behind you. All right. Hmm. All right. So this is the outfit that I really like, and from the chapter two. Y'all see this man looking fresh as shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rocking the aristocrat. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not uh, one of the best outfits, I would say. For me, it kind of... For me, like, personal opinion, I, I don't like it. It's too weird for me. <laughs> I I like the outfit, but the gold mask is... is... Nah, the mask is not. <laughs> right. I haven't really played much lately. I've been doing other stuff, so... I, I'm super behind on Chapter 2 stuff. <laughs> I like this uh, generic outfit, the one I'm wearing. It's like yeah, it's the, awesome. The right feel. It's, it's the perfect themed outfit for these, uh, I would say, for survival game, or zombie game, I would say. Right. Uh, what exactly are we doing here during the night? Like, are we supposed to go out, fight the volatiles? <laughs> I, I, dude, there's, I have no, we can do whatever you want to. I'll just... show you what I got. Yeah, I just I just loaded up a game. This one's this one's been beat like four times. I don't think there's anything really for us, you know. I got the Kadoom shotgun. <laughs> Kadoom. Yep. Let me see you. We got four people in here at the moment. Well, uh, before we like ask any questions or anything, well, uh. Try to see if, if some more will join up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like <clears throat> YouTube and their ability to push live streams is non-existent virtually. Like they they do not push their live streams very well. You got to kind of search for them. Right. At the same time, today uh, YouTube has a lot of issues going on. So yeah, you were telling me like something about. The, the monetizing stuff, Scott? Yeah. Did. Actually, um, I saw a message on Discord, and it was sent by uh, the, the guy, I think you know him. His channel starts with uh, uh, M-U-A-X-O-H, Mwax, I think that's what you call it. Mwax the Patrick, Yeah, the guy with the, pa uh, the Patrick um, logo. Yeah. On his he uploads a lot of Dying Light 2 shots. So, he told me about this and he was asking questions as if like we see the monetization on our channel or not and I was like obviously I see it and when I go and check on my PC and I'm like oh no I don't see it and then everybody's like we don't see it as well so the thing is it doesn't really um, like if, if we don't have monetization we don't have any other options enabled it's not gonna promote our stuff that good that's why most of the videos that we uploaded recently basically died <laughs> So okay. it's kind of messed up. I wonder, I, I'm sure it has something to do with them, you know, they're trying to do a whole bunch of different stuff at the same time with Twitch dying and YouTube trying to, like, pick up the remnants. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, they're doing all kinds of goofy stuff. Yeah, they're experimenting a lot of things, and I, and I feel like that's good, but... They mess up a lot of things. In the process. It's like, it's like, it's like Declan, you know? <laughs> That's okay. Techland in a nutshell. I, I see that all the time in a video. <laughs> they release a lot of good things, but they mess up a lot of good, uh, good things that we had before, so it <laughs> happens. Right. Trial and error. That's alright. Yeah. Welcome, Cheetah. Nice Cheetah. He's the guy that suggested the drop kick or the kicks only video. If anybody. Oh, yeah, those challenges. Dude. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm so burnt out on Dying Light at the moment. Mm -hmm. I did that <clears throat> no inhibitor challenge and then went to the kicks only. That kicks on man, that kick only was annoying. 
Oh, oh. Sure. I want to lose one of those challenges. It's, it's pretty hard. <clears throat> the next one is that I, I've been suggested to do is uh, oh, I'm gonna die. level one everything, no upgrades, no inhibitors, nothing. Well, that sounds like a challenge. I'm sure you can do it. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely fail. Oh wait, I just realized I have something. Watch me. Uh, one sec. I, uh, okay. Yeah, there you go. I'm oh, out. he took off on the broom! <laughs> I still have it. Mr. Sexy Indian Man, thank you. <laughs> What's going on, PP Head? Anonymous user, nice cheetah. You guys having a good day? I tune in to Ali too. <laughs> nice hey, cheetah says team. you're a nice cheetah says you're the sexy Indian man. Yeah, I read that and I was like, hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetah's pretty cool. Most of the guys that I, I tune in, well, we're up to seven now, boys. Questions will be coming soon. Then, right now, we're just kind of dicking around. We got renegades to kill, we got infected to kill, we got questions that need answers. I'm just watching you kill them, I'm just spectating, sort of helping sometimes. <laughs> How many uh, personal kills do you have, by the way? Uh, uh for the event? How would I, how do I find that? Oh, uh, do you have it disabled through the HUD? The, oh, in oh the for <laughs> For the event. yeah none I haven't I haven't even started it this Bruh. is this is the first time I've played Dying Light two in probably two weeks. Mhm. Mm I'm lacking. <laughs> oh good. Um, I I need honey. You need some honey. You need some honey. Should be there. Oh no. Almost made it. Let's see what he, let's see what this guy thinks about the old ballista bow. Oh, nothing, cause you can't. You gotta. You actually gotta hit him with it. Damn. What the? That does some decent damage to these anomalies, to the revenants. Oh, definitely. I'm, I'm so glad. Like, I don't really like the aspect of we having to get these specific arrows like we can't create them or anything that's kind of that's kind of lame but i'm so glad honestly, they finally honestly see being honest that is fine you know why why because that's the strongest bow you can get get in the game is it like one shots everything almost everything in the hard mode so you're playing in the hard mode right if i'm right it's the uh i think i'm on normal at the moment all right okay uh, if you play on the hard mode, it's like one or two arrows for like all the zombies almost. So that's very overpowered. So this stuff has to be, bro. The the spear did no no damage to this anomaly. It's it's weird what the spear works on and what it doesn't work on. It always used to one shot them. One sec, I gotta try this one. Maybe I didn't aim properly. See? Oh, okay. A little bit damaged. Oh my god, I suck. There's gotta be someone to keep the dying Holy like really strong and foam. Yeah. Yeah, man. Talking about the information, I have a question for you. <laughs> for me. And for the audience as well. Um, uh, it's, it's sort of like... Um, um, so, so basically, I'm, I'm, I'm planning something. I usually do something different on my channel, right? So. I'm trying to uh, do theories. Like well, I've already made like two theories on the channel. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking, what kind of theories does the community really have, and what kind of uh, topics do people really like to see, like for the theories and all? Like I made a video talking about Kyle Crane. Like, is he alive or not? So that's one of the topics for the theory. Yeah. So what kind of topics do people really have, and what kind of topics would you like to see? Um, that is a good question. I guess yeah, I wanna, because it's really good to you know discuss because when I make a video I see a lot of people discussing stuff and it, it, it kind of 
It's really good. I, I like to read all the comments with all the different theories. It's fun. <laughs> it is, man. It, it, it's 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 wild to see what what some people are able to come up with. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, as far as I, I've, I, as far as like the crane theory, I kind of have a belief that he's still alive, and then there's there's been little hints and stuff dropped by time in and I did a video on um yeah yeah I mean it's I can't even remember now but it was a uh, when they did it was an interview with the guy from the canteen and uh he was talking about something about you know he the one of the devs for the game for Dying Light was like well it's a mystery and I simply for the fact that he didn't write that in there, be like, "Oh no, Crane's totally dead," and you know, exactly, they would, they would never say that, right? And you know, with how big Crane is, and the potential of what they could do with the storyline bringing him back, I, I just think it's unrealistic for them to to totally yeah. deny his, his, any type of return for him. We have a tyrant. Oh shit. Hit him with the arrow. See how much damage it does. Oh shit. Um Hold up, sir, hold up, hold up. Just Kick. stay still. Stay still! He's not even doing anything. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wait, what, what? what the What is he doing? Um, I'm supposed to be your enemy. Hello, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a zombie killing threat. Hello. I think he's, he's trying to be peaceful. That's cool, means... man. You 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 want to be buds? Me. He knows he can't win. He's like ah, if you can't beat him, join him. Yeah, right, right. What's your opinion on some of the new parkour animations, and do you think they should make more variants for yeah. more dynamic gameplay? Hmm? What's your opinion on some of the new parkour animations? Yep, on the new parkour animations, and do you think that they should add more variants to make the gameplay more dynamic? This question was asked by Nice Cheetah. Alright, um... So I definitely think they should add more variants, because, uh... There's not a lot of, lot of variety, if you... If you check... If you compare this with the... I always have to compare this with the old uh, E3 version for some reason, because that's where we saw a lot of the things. So, there's a lot of variants in the game for different moves, and you would be surprised to see them. Because I've seen them, a lot of modders have actually created that. So definitely, if they bring those things back, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna love it. There's a lot of crazy animations in the game. They made it, but they don't have it in the game for some reason. Yeah, I... I don't... I couldn't tell you... Uh, I don't work for Techland, but some of the choices they've made are like, you know totally i i don't understand it like, yeah, um, like why yeah like i think i think if they were to like go down the inf you know making aiden an infected like with the that with uh bub's rage booster mod like that right they totally could have given aiden a talent tree or whatever to enhance his infected abilities or you know, give us, like, a little skill that we can use where for, you know, two minutes we turn into a volatile or whatever it might be. And there's there's so many things that they could have done to make it, I don't know, man. It, the content at still at the moment is lackluster. So, you know, back in E3 2019, uh, one of the developers, oh, the same guy, by the way, not one of the developers, the same guy uh, you were talking about earlier. The one from the Dying to Know episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the same guy actually spoke about this thing where uh, Aiden, like, we didn't know about Aiden back then, but he basically said the uh, the main character, when he, uh, when the immunity runs out, you basically turn into sort of a zombie, like you gain sort of superhuman abilities, so you can make higher jumps and you would be really strong, only for some time, obviously, because you will die eventually. Right. Because of your immunity running out, but you will still... Feel like a zombie, like you will have those abilities that the uh, the, the uh, different variants of zombies have. 
so for a moment he will be experiencing like experiencing those and um well that thing got scrapped yeah. the whole idea got scrapped and that's that's crazy man i think i think i maybe i'm wrong but i feel like a lot of the dying light 2 fans would have enjoyed something like that for sure but then you know i, I don't work for techland i'm not even gonna pretend i understand the choices <laughs> We just provide content. Right. What's going on, Gabriel? Everybody having a good day? A happy day? Well, it's about a daytime. It's already daytime. I don't realize. That's cool. We got hey, some we renegades to kill anyway. Those, are, those guys are easy. Damn. Oh, the boat. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do you... Okay, I want to see this. One sec, let me open up your stream. I've never actually seen this. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go in a slow motion, right, with the bow. And I'm going to see how it does that look in your screen. There you go. <laughs> did really float or something? You did just float. Did I? <laughs> What the? Oh my god! There's an infected flying! That's awesome. Shoo! You turn into a fairy for a minute. That's weird. That's definitely weird. Cheetah says, should we make a challenge? Challenge for us? Alright. Yeah, you guys come up with something good? You're looking at two of the greatest Dying Light 2 players together ever. Hell yeah. I, can... uh, I saw the tweet today um, from the official Dying Light uh, page asking about how many hours do you have in the game. I, I didn't even bother to like reply. Oh, you know? yeah, how many yeah, hours? man. I was like, I knew people are going to be like, Dude, touch some grass, like go. Oh. Yeah, with the set, oh, my like, 700 you... people were like, what are you doing? Exactly. So imagine me saying how yeah. many hours I have. I'll, I, best Gamer Ali puts in hundreds of hours a week. Uh, and I, my, my upcoming uh, like a review video is basically going basically to have the title. I'm going to say, Dying Light 2 basically after 2,500 hours. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people are gonna be like, "What are you doing in the game? There's nothing to do." Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's the point. That's why I made this. Uh, we have Renegades here. I, uh, for a lot of people who don't know, I sometimes uh, like I'm making mods and everything. I do a lot of stuff, so that's where I put a lot of hours in the game. By the way, what just happened with the weather? Uh, it looks foggy, a little foggy. I mean, for me, it was already daytime, I, and suddenly it's night for me. Huh. It just happened. Oh no, there's a hag over here too. Um, can we, okay, I'm gonna come for the hags and we're gonna go for the renegades afterwards. Come there. Where's the hag? Um, jumping around. Hello. Nice one, hack. One's dead. The other one will be dead too. In a, in a moment. Where you at? Where you at? Stop running. Dude, that's one of my favorite combos. Slide, the slide technique, and then with the head stomp after. She's right here. Ah! Ah, you missed me, bitch. I tried the bow on her. Girl. Oh, sh what? Hello? <laughs> what happened? She went inside for me. Oh, yeah. Wait, is she gone? I don't see her. Oh, she's over here. Okay. She's she's definitely like running. 
Oh, she's fighting some peacekeepers over here. Got it. Got it. Hey, shut up. She's dead. <laughs> Timing. It's still broken though. I thought it was it. Oni, Oni made that post about uh, should we keep the e effects after the event? And, or in that uh, timing, like, of, yes. Yeah, of I was gonna, re I was gonna reply to that, but then you made the tweet, and I was like, that's exactly what, what I was gonna say. <laughs> Why even question? <laughs> like you didn't know because you had, because Dying Light basically had that. Yeah. Except obviously the uh, the uh, some of the explosive stuff. Like I don't want that. Uh, get rid of the hyper mode. Uh, get the ragdolls, and definitely the uh, the. The, uh, what was that? The capacitation? I fucking struggle to say that word. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I, I always say uh, dismemberment. That's what I usually say. The other thing is I'm a decapacitation. No, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> even though I just said it. <laughs> it wouldn't let me loot that. I can't loot that hag place. Oh, I, I already did. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I had some. Wait, we had some um, renegades over there, right? We saw the the, the, the orange. Marking. Yeah, yeah, I think they despawned. All right, let's see if we have one here. Saw them earlier. Nope, they're gone too. Butcha. All right, man. So I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to start a YouTube channel? Um, kind of a, a long story, but I would like to say it in short for now because um, it's a pretty big story. Uh, anyway, so the reason why I started a channel, and by the way, for people who don't know, I started this back in like 2014 and 15 stuff. Um, I made a channel named uh, Gaming Zone. <laughs> that was my first channel name. And uh, I, I started making mobile game videos because I used to watch uh, you know PewDiePie and all this stuff like you know everybody must have seen PewDiePie at least once in his life oh and yeah for sure video. yeah so I used to watch his stuff I used to watch um, the gaming was like the biggest thing back then on YouTube and I used to watch that and always I always since my childhood like I was I was like I always wanted to be a gamer and um, I don't know if I should say this, but I never had the privilege to uh, get a PlayStation, you know, or get at least anything gaming related until I was like, uh, I don't know, I was like 12 or 13 when I got my first, um, it was not a gaming PC, I would say. I got my PC and uh, that was really shit. I had the, I think, Intel Pentium, which was, which is a fine PC, but no graphics card, no nothing. So I couldn't play any games I used to watch other people just play the game and I was like why is my PC not playing the game Aww. so <laughs> I ended up making that's how see I wanted to make PC videos but I couldn't make it so I ended up making mobile game videos so for people who um, have seen my previous videos on the channel like I still have my first video on the channel it's originally not the first video but still because the first video is very cringe you don't watch that like I, I even I can't <laughs> Watch my own video. I still got my so first one up too, man. It's a Destiny 2 video. Yeah, so uh, I it, it was a uh, it was a mobile game called uh, WWE Immortals, uh, like that. And I used to play Clash Royale, uh, Clash of Clans, and all that stuff. That's that's basically what I used to do. So my main, I would say, reason to start the gaming channel was because I never in my life played sort of any uh, any any game I would say any decent game I used to play um, games I used to go to my friend's house and I used to play those games on on uh, you know those uh, what do you call it those uh, a video games like the cheap video games that have those NES uh, games like Mario uh, then then some uh, 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 the, the game where you shoot the duck Connor, duck the name, the hunting. yeah 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 those types of games I played those and I used to love them that's awesome but then like I said I used to play that at my friend's house, and I never got to play those stuff. So always had this thing in my mind, like I always wanted to play games. 
uh, always wanted to like uh, when I saw PewDiePie and I was like I always wanted to make videos so uh, if you want to know how I started my uh, dying like two stuff like dying life stuff well it happened when I was when I got my PlayStation for the first time for some reason I didn't get a PC I was very stupid but, hey it turned out good for me <laughs> so I um, never got a PC I, I had a laptop that had a very very bad graphics card I could play Dying Light, but very badly, very bad, like 10, 15 FPS. No. So, yeah, I, I, I told my mom I need a PlayStation for for studies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but no, basically I got my PlayStation because I said I, that will help me. Uh, and, I, and I would say this proudly, but because I was very, uh, like I would say blessed because I had a really supportive parents. They really supported me with this stuff because when I started the channel, they knew I was not getting any stuff. Like, I was getting shit, dude. Like, I wasn't even getting any views. Like, 10, 15 views. Back to, like, 10 views would have been, like, me or my family mixed. So, yeah, we, we like, everybody in my house, we, we were watching my, our own videos. Like, I was much watching my own video 10 times. So, nobody ever watched it except us. But, yeah, still I wanted to be a YouTuber, you know? So... I told my parents I need PlayStation because then I can make good videos, get good stuff out. So, without even asking me anything, they actually got me a PlayStation, the, the, the base PlayStation. That's awesome. So, yeah, and um, if I'm right, uh, I, I actually had played Dying Light before uh, on my laptop, and I was so scared to play it because uh, for some reason I was scared of zombies. Like I said, I haven't played any other game like that before. Oh, I've yeah, seen man. Dead Island. I've seen Dead Island, uh, fa like Fantastic Four, all kind of those games on, on my friend's laptop, but never ever played it. <laughs> so, Dying Light was something I was scared of. My brother used to play it, and I used to just watch him play the game. He was younger than me, still was like not scared of it. So, <laughs> yeah, I was really scared. So, when I got my PlayStation, I saw the Dying Light demo available on uh, the PlayStation Store. For every, everybody who has PlayStation, they know they had the uh, demo version for Dying Light at first. You, you can play Dying Light for one hour, and then the whole progress basically gets reset. So, I used to play that game, and I I played it for like uh, a lot. Of, like, I played it for like weeks, and I made video. I, 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 I sort of made a video showing how to get the legendary weapon that to imagine in one hour. That's what I made. So I was loving the game, even though I was scared to go out and during the night, I still loved it because it could skip time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just... totally fine with it. <laughs> but I made my video, that's how I started my first video, which didn't do any good. It was so bad, like nobody watched it, even I didn't watch it. So oh. <laughs> Yeah, later... Um, Somehow, I, I ended up realizing there's something called PlayStation Plus on PlayStation, which means you can play games online with, with your friends or, you know, other people, and Dying Light had this thing called co-op, which in my life I never heard of. Like, what is co-op? <laughs> I had no idea. So, when I saw that this game had co-op, I, I, um, I, I randomly just joined a server. Like, uh, the dying server, by the way. Right. And I joined a guy named Liam. He was a kid. He was very young. Like, he was, like literally very young. And um, obviously, like, this was my first time, right? So I didn't care if it was a kid or not. Like, I, I was playing the game with him. He was super nice to me. And uh, he, also, he also had the demo, by the way. <laughs> so we played for an hour. We, had, we loved the game. And, um, well, that's when I decided to uh, make videos with him so you can still watch those videos on my channel it's there uh, for, uh, it's basically called dying light uh, legendary outfits showcase all that kind of stuff and uh, surprisingly those videos started to do good um, some of my uh, weapon showcase videos had like for me back in 5,000 10,000 was a big deal and some of the videos even did better than that so I was surprised that this this thing was actually working and um, You'll be, <laughs> you'll be kind of surprised to know that that's when I actually received my first dying, like uh, my first payment from YouTube because of dying blood. I got my first hundred dollars because of that. That's awesome. That's what I showed my parents to convince them to buy me a PC. Like, look, I'm actually making money off of it. <laughs> 
Yeah, but they basically said, yeah, because I had exams, right? Because I was still studying back then. Right. So, they told me, finish your school, we'll get a good basic for you. I'm like, okay. And um, that's when I think 2016 happened, and the following was coming out with the, with the enhanced edition, basically. So, I decided to get that instead of just getting the, the Dying Light. And since, you know, I had a PlayStation 4, this would have been the best option for me. So I got the Enhanced Edition pre-ordered. When I got it, me and my friend, both Liam and me, we both decided to get this thing. And when we got it, we played the game. And I ended up making a lot of videos from, from that time. And I think uh, everybody who's been following me for a long time knows that the, the time when my channel actually started to, like, blow up. Like, not literally blow up, I mean, in views. And no. subscribe it. Yeah, blow it. Um, <laughs> yeah. YouTube, it, I gotta tell YouTube, you know what blow up means, otherwise <laughs> you're gonna have a problem, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, my channel literally started growing up because of one video where I uploaded a video called the Dying Light Duplication Glitch, where I post showed people how to duplicate items and pretty much everything in the game. Which is. <laughs> I still uh, have a few people that, you know, sort of don't like me because I, I sort of started my channel like that, but hey, that was, that's how I started, you know, <laughs> I can't yeah. do anything, I can't change my past. Right. So I started doing the glitches, basically, because, you know, what works for you, works for you. Right? right. So, it was working for me. I got 40,000 views, 50,000 views, and I, my channel started blowing up. I got 2,000 uh, 2, subscribers the next day. And I was doing great. Then I had a, my first YouTube drama with a guy <laughs> named Ordinary Redneck. I'm totally fine with saying his name because he and uh, because both of us are like totally uh, in good terms right now because we both realized how stupid we both were back then. <laughs> it's all good. Right. But uh, it happens, dude. Time tells you how stupid you were in the past. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Yeah, you become mature. It's all good. Uh, but basically, I had my first beat, but my channel was doing great. I had a lot of support from the Dynamite community. Because uh, they knew I was right, <laughs> so I got a lot of support, and then I started doing basically what the people asked me, which was glitches. So if you go and check my playlist for dying like glitches, there's a glitch edition with a lot of glitches, and that's <laughs> not even the bigger ones. The bigger ones are uh, currently privated and unlisted, because I've sent those to Techland only to sort of get it fixed. Too, so. Right. <laughs> but that thing never got fixed. <laughs> Screw that. But uh, yeah, basically glitches is how my channel blew up. It got to where I am today. But I think it was like when I had 15,000 or 20,000 subscribers when I stopped making glitch videos because of the kind of like a hate I was getting, not from the people, my own, not from my own uh, audience, because my audience was definitely fine with it. That's why I was making the video, right? Right, that's what they enjoy. Yeah, but it was the, uh, it was some of the people from the, uh, I would say dying, like definitely from the dying community, but those people who, um, uh, I don't know. For some reason, likes the like the beef. <laughs> some <laughs> people, man. Yeah, some people. Like I, I, I don't know. I posted a video the other day of somebody. It wasn't really even a beef. It was someone who I, I was talking to somebody about a specific Twitch streamer who had said, like, you know. I'm sure you see them all the time, like, drop your Twitch channel, and I'll give you some support and love, and blah, blah, and I was just like, man, like, build it yourself, like, don't, don't ask for handouts like that, like, and I was just talking about the guy, I don't know, somebody jumped into the conversation, and, it, and the conversation had nothing to do with them, and they jumped in and started, you know, being mean towards me. And, like, I don't, you ever heard of old, you heard of RuneScape and World of Warcraft and all those games are all, they're, they're riddled with trolls, man. And I learned, like, I like to antagonize people who like to antagonize people. And that's kind of what it did. So, I, I mean, I, <laughs> he, he was trying to say, like, the point of him posting this was because another streamer did it and he was trying to prove a point and it was just kind of like wait so he did this and now he's got 70 different people dropping their twitch channels thinking that he's gonna try and help them out when he really has no intention of helping like that's totally a dick move 
and he, he was like, oh, you sound like your butt hurt. Was like, dude, you're like, you're 46 years old. Stop thinking you're a, you know, 19-year-old frat boy. Be your age, dude. Grow up. And like, just... Yeah, so, that's, that's, I've, I've faced those things, and I have had, um, like I said, I have had few haters because of that. Uh, like, I'm totally fine if you're going to criticize my uh, content, criticize me if I'm doing something wrong, definitely do that, but there are people who will definitely hate you for no reason. Yeah. Maybe hate you for the, for the past, because uh, obviously I can't change the past, dude. If I'm doing something wrong in the, in the present, talk about that. Um, and uh, people who are like totally racist, because obviously I'm Indian, right? I sound Indian, so... <laughs> you know, some of the people <laughs> who go out definitely talking stuff, but I've, uh, I've over the time, I've actually uh, started to ignore those people. Good. I'll definitely take the criticism. Like, I'm totally fine. Give me those. I'm, I'm totally fine with the criticism. I get some criticism and I improve. I, t I try to do my best, but not when somebody is literally talking trash. That's when I ban people instantly. Right. <laughs> but I've, I've had those people. Because of those people, I stopped making glitch videos. And uh, obviously also for one reason, because Techlan recognized me. Um, and they started following me on Twitter, all, all, all the social. They started watching my video. And it always feels bad to make glitch videos on a game. <laughs> right? <laughs> when the developers are, like, literally watching your video. <laughs> so, no, that, that, that was not good. I didn't want to do that. Imagine them giving me stuff, like they were giving me uh, goodies, merchandise, and all that stuff, and I was making glitch videos. That was so bad. Right, they're helping you out, and then you're turning around like, this is how you manipulate their game. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped doing that, and I only uh, I focused more on the uh, the other kind of content, like walkthroughs, tutorials, reviews, guides, all that kind of stuff that I do right now. That's what I focus my channel on. And, uh, I mean, it did good. Um, Honestly, if I have to be real honest, my channel would have been uh, way bigger than what it is right now if I continued doing the, um, the glitch stuff. Like, um, I sort of regret that, but hey, at the same time, I can't do anything, right? It's, it's, a, it's, my, ch it's my choice, it's my decision that led me here, so it's all good, I'm happy. Uh, but for That's anybody out there, you, yeah, anybody out there making a youtube channel if somebody says just like somebody's telling you not to do something don't listen if you like it if your audience is liking it do that right? absolutely that's that's yeah man it, I, I i totally agree with ali on that one like don't if it's something you want to do even if it's not even like a youtube channel if you want to become a toy streamer or you want to be a rock star man work towards it like don't let anybody stop you don't let haters are gonna hate and they hate you because they don't have the balls to do what you're doing. That's probably where a lot of, you know, other people hated on you from was because you're out here making a successful YouTube channel when they don't even have the balls to try and start one up themselves. Right. Um, people were sort of those people that I'm talking about. Those were also jealous by the fact that I was getting stuff from Techline, even though I was like making glitch videos and they were not getting anything. <laughs> yeah, and that's... See, I don't know, man. I, I used... I guess I, I probably used to be like... I mean, I'm sure most of us used to get jealous and stuff, but anymore, oh, man... Hey, I'm jealous. That happens. That's human nature. I'm not gonna dash talk about somebody in public just because, you know, they're doing something that's working for them. Right. Dude, nah, that... It makes me happy, like... I, I I honestly I do not care that I have less than four hundred and you have over a hundred thousand. That makes me happy for you. You've put the work in. You've done. You've earned it, man. You've earned it. And I don't know. It's good. like I, I just even I just have no room for hatred anymore, man. I got no time for that shit. It's it's not healthy. It's not. It just brings you down, man. And, and nah, that's. All I want to do is make people happy and laugh and just hang out, man. We got a whole bunch of good times to make. I don't know. Life's crazy. Life's crazy, man. For oh, sure. But yeah, even I was jealous that uh, at some point, like obviously you would be. That's that's what happens, right? Human nature. But I've never uh, said anything to anybody because of that. Right. Why bring anybody down? 
Yeah, yeah, I've definitely implemented some of the stuff to see, oh, that guy's doing that, it works for him. So maybe try something to do, to do similar with that and maybe, you know, experiment with the channel, with the content. If you can see, I have uh, done a lot of experiment, like I've done so many stuff. And um, nowadays people even ask me if they can use footages of my, like if they can use some footages from my video and I'm like, use everything, that's all right. I'll give you all the permission. Like previously I used to not, like I was like, bro, I've spent like day and night working on this stuff and you want to just take it because that used to happen you know imagine finding an easter egg in the game and you spend you spend like days looking for that in, in, in fact my recent video i spent three days without like i didn't sleep properly i was just looking for that poster and everything uh for the letter and i was like finally i found it and me and me and i think the german dying like community we were looking for it dude I, I'm not gonna say who asked me, but people asked me for the footages, and I just gave them. It's all right, you know. But back then, I was like, eh, why? That's, that's hours of work. You understand? That's human nature. But over the time, you become mature. You understand everything, so you don't, you know, you're like you're totally fine with it. Nah, man, that's awesome that you've opened up like that. Yeah, time teaches you, dude. Like literally, life. It will teach. It will teach you a lot of good lessons. It really does, man. Only if you want to learn, by the way. <laughs> exactly. That's that's the whole thing. Like, I don't know. I've had I've had a crazy 33 years. My first half was terrible. The second half, I've learned a lot. I am truly happy with the person I'm developing into, and I'm super excited and looking forward to you know the next 10, 15 years I got, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a blast. I've all, you know, I started my YouTube channel like seven months ago, and I've gotten so many good experiences and reasons to keep going. Just, it's, man, it's crazy. It's this little teeny tiny dying light community has been absolutely awesome, and you know, making friends with you and Oni and just, I don't know, man. It's, it's. Not something I know. I don't have words for. I have made a lot of friends too. Look, you won't believe for almost like um, five years. I, I, like, except the guy named Liam and yeah. a few other people that I used to talk to. Like, I only had like two or three people that I used to talk to, and I literally had zero friends online. Like, I literally talked to nobody. That's how uh, I had a close circle, I would say. And I'm a guy who doesn't open that quick. Like, I've changed, obviously, but I was a guy who never opened in front of others. I didn't know how to communicate with people. Like, I've tried doing that in the past, and uh, I realized some people don't understand you that, that good. <laughs> and that causes a lot of problems. <laughs> so I stopped uh, making friends, basically, online. Uh, but now, I've started opening up, opening up with people. Because, dude, being alone sucks, dude. It's, so it's much. Tough. Dude, so much it sucks. Nah, man, I'm glad you've opened up, and because you've opened that up, man, look, here we are sitting here streaming, playing some Dying Light, hanging out with some cool people, and just That's having a good time, man. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen more legendary renegade fights, though. Yeah, I saw a lot of glitches, so I know that co op is still broken. I saw some of the yeah. renegades running in the air. <laughs> yeah. <running> <laughs> yeah, I got one. That's all right. Surprisingly, uh, we knowing that Declan is the one that made a Dying Light, and it was hey, the game was broken during the launch, but not this broken. <laughs> I've played the game even when on my shit laptop it was not that bad. Nah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I feel bad for him. But I don't know. I don't I feel bad, yeah. But I would like to see them improve. But if they keep messing things up, I don't know, man. <laughs> also, it, uh, you must have noticed something. Um, I've never in the past talked anything bad about that. Player. Right. Never. Never. Literally. Not that I've never. seen. No. Yeah, I've only spoken good. Everybody will, like, there were people who were talking bad about Teclan, obviously, for, for good reasons, but I never did that. And obviously, I, I was sort of, uh, I would say, um, 
Like I was, uh, I, I won't say I was being professional. I was not being professional. I was like totally on their side, you know. Uh, they were my favorite, right? <laughs> so I got to talk good about them. Right. So that's uh, basically what I used to do. But now with the launch of Dying Light 2 and you know having such a big audience, I got to stay honest with them. And I yeah. got to stay uh, in a professional. So I started talking um, against them. <laughs> like when they mess up something, I call them the out. At them. Yeah, yep. I called them out. And I'm like, yeah, you this, did, this, this, uh, did this thing wrong. And the thing is, when I was talking good about Techland, people were like, oh, you ki you kissing their ass, man. Oh, you only talk good about them. Yeah. Now I'm talking bad. They're like, oh, you're just hating on Dying Light, too. Like, bro, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, what do you really want me to do? I can't talk good about them. I can't talk bad about them. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> nah, you you do. Yeah, it's, it's super hard to please everybody. And, I mean, I love Techland myself, but at the same time, I can honestly say... It feels like they made us pay full price for a game that was still in beta testing versions. Oh, uh, dude. Like if... uh, there... Only if I had the liberty to say something, I would have said it, but I can't. I don't have the... I would get in big trouble if I say it, but... <laughs> yeah, don't don't get yourself sure. in trouble. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> but there are things, man. If, if it comes public, it's gonna fuck up their reputation really bad. <laughs> I can say that. There are a lot of things. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go in that. It's messed up, dude. There's a lot of situations that's messed up. But uh, if you look at my review and everything, I've mentioned I've criticized them for the things they can improve on, and they've improved on, obviously, uh, in the first game. So, for sure, I have criticized them for that. And uh, they've taken the criticism, except the one time when I, uh, when I made a video about... Um, I think it was called, uh, let me see the title. It was about the DLC. I think you read the tweet, right, from Timon? Yeah. He to my, yeah, he replied with my video. He and got I upset. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won't say he got upset, but uh, I mean, start up, he didn't like that. Thing. It was called the Dying Light 2 New DLC, DLC has a massive problem. And he was like, oh, you didn't play the DLC. <laughs> How can you say it has a massive problem? Well. Because we know sort of what what the core uh, gameplay is going to be and what the core gameplay is already for Dying Light 2. And we know what's going to happen. And I've seen the leaks. Come right. on, I made a video. I made like <laughs> not one, two videos on this DLC. I've seen the content this game has, uh, this DLC has. And I've seen all this stuff. So it's not like it's hidden from me. But then he has to come with a tweet saying, uh, you know, zombie action is going to be this, this much. Human action is only this part, which I do not believe. Uh, I was surprised, but hey, I'm gonna be surprised when I play the DLC. Okay, I'm not gonna be surprised now because right. they have said some stuff in the past about the game, and well, they have dropped it and they've literally canceled all stuff. So I can't believe a word they say now unless I see it like I see it in action. Yeah, and uh, well, when I said the game had the DLC had a massive issue, well, it got delayed, right? So <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. <laughs> no, man. It, and that's... I'm at that point myself, and I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people are. If if they fuck this one up, it's going to be oh, yeah. really hard to keep people in. Hold on, give me one oh, second. Yeah, I'm it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I've said that. It's going to be uh, a big problem if they mess this thing up. On the top shelf of the refrigerator, there's a empty tray. Okay. There's like four sandwiches in there. Okay. <laughs> if you get hungry or something like that, and then there's a few meat, meatballs in there too. Awesome. I like meatballs. Yeah. It's I like meatballs too. And, and, yeah. Oh no, I'm supposed to be on mute. They can, <laughs> they can hear you. You want to wave? Huh? You want to wave to Pete? Hey Pete. He said Pete, but that's okay. <laughs> Pete or what? Peeps. People. Oh, peeps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh well. <laughs> Pete. Uh, it could be short for the Yeah. Mouth, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Right. <laughs> Briel talks about the guns. Uh, dude, I, I know it will return. It's just we don't know when, but it will definitely return because people want it. 
and they need to deliver what people want, otherwise, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. This conversation is gonna go on forever. They've been asking for guns for a lot of time, like a long time. And uh, considering the fact the game doesn't have a lot of content, I feel like it will return. But then I really want them to implement this in a good way. Like, you can have a lot of things in the game, but you can mess it up as well. So hopefully they don't mess when they add guns in the game. It can definitely be overpowered. I, that's, and that, that's kind of what uh, I, I, it, I agree with you. And to add on to it, it's kind, it's, it should be more of like the Scorpio, like DIY guns that you know potentially break over time or something. And then maybe like, uh, I think they should do some type of like prison DLC, like from Dying Light, where you have like a timed, timed run, and you got to fight X amount of people. To get to the stash, the you know the hidden have, supply. Uh, have you played the the chapter uh, challenges? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Try to play the chapter. Oh, you want to do the chapter two thing because that basically is exactly what you're talking about. It's not exactly prison heist, but it's something similar to that, which I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy. I'm down. This is where we gotta go. If you can fast travel to the nearest one. I'm gonna fast travel here because we haven't unlocked chapter two yet. Okay. Uh, when you go there, you will basically unlock another uh, fast travel location, which is very handy. I feel like they should add more locations like that. What's going on, Austin? Austin Binkley says, "Hey, what's going on, brother? You having a good day today?" Hey, Austin. Oh, I totally got the fast travel here. Beat you. Oh, you have it? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. For me, it wasn't there. And it just said All I right. just discovered it, but I, I know I've been. Yeah, here. that's clear. Hey, co-op, I told you, co-op is broken. It's yeah. Come here. Uh, we got. We actually have to be here. Uh, do you want to do the elite? No, we're not gonna do the elite. We'll, we will do the regular one. Since you don't know the locations here, you're gonna have a problem. I know the locations. I've done it. Dude, I was so happy when I beat the challenge in the elite one, and I did it like in three minutes or something. Then I went on watching a YouTube video. Because I, I was like, oh, I made a world record. I, I did it in three minutes. I watched the video, realizing the guy did it in like two minutes or something. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I literally and, was sweating. <laughs> RCGG's done. He he did the uh, the first, it, like one of Harper's. He did one of Harper's in like 40 seconds or something crazy. Bro. <laughs> Like I don't want to do that. Like I don't want to do that, dude. You will really sweat badly when you do that, dude. It's just so frustrating because you keep repeating the same thing again and again. And sometimes, the, because the game is glitchy, yep, and it will mess you up a lot of times. Yeah, it has happened with me. How do I start? Oh, okay. Here we go. Hold, hold, enter. We should start. Can we go together, or you will you go wrong? Like I don't. It says. Uh, I right. I don't know. Okay, oh, okay, you here? Okay, use the toughness booster first, and let's go in. Uh, also use the rate, uh, regeneration booster. I don't have so any of those. You have those. You should have those because it gives you. <laughs> Dude, I've I I got I got a rage booster, and I got. Oh uh, shit! Don't use it. <laughs> Everything will be blurry in front of you. Dude, that's so messed up. Some of the boosters are like so blurry. Like, why did you even made it? The new night vision booster is so bad. All right, come here. I, right. I, I've never, never used boosters very much. Mm -hmm. uh, let me let me explain you, basically. So when you come at this location, right, what you need to find is a few people. So for that, you will have to look for a UV light, the UV flare, basically. So look for a UV flare that's uh, thrown outside, not mine, by the way. Come here. Like, look, you see? Come down. Yeah, right here, you see? Yeah. The flare. So you know the people are inside. See them? Mm-hmm. I see them exactly. renegades. We'll, we'll enter from here. Come here. Oh, shit. Ah. It's all right. It's all right. I got you. you find them. <laughs> okay, some of them will, uh, some of them are like those smoke guys. I call them the smoke guys. So watch out because you will die instantly. So for the speedrunners, they usually ignore them and they collect this thing. 
You can you can do that. Come here. I'll fight them. Got it. Hello, hello. All right, get out of, from the same location. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. Come, 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 come. I have dead only to expand. It's both from small to large. Um, I'm pretty sure they will, considering that the game came out after years. So. I don't know about the seven years of content, but I'm pretty sure for at least uh, three, four years they will expand it for that long. For sure. Yeah, I mean, they have to. What I'm excited about is to see... Man, I made that video about, about them releasing the game in mm -hmm. an unfinished state. Like, I really hope they don't do that for Dead Island 2. And I'm so excited to see how much better the game performs against Dying Light 2. Like, not in a bad way, like in a competition type way. Like, I don't... <laughs> uh, I think that sounds bad now that I said that. <laughs> we can't compare this with Dying Light, obviously. Dying Light 2 is, like, totally different. Oh, you said the smoke kills you instantly in here? Yeah, if you go in the smoke, you basically run out of immunity, which matters here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this one is fine because we are playing in the regular one. When we do the elite one, we'll have to literally run, like, literally run. That's the... We have limited, we have limited time and everything. <laughs> it's a speed run. Oh, oh, shit, what happened? Why can't I throw my... Yeah. There it goes. Um, yeah, let me craft some uh, unit flare. For some reason, I was not able to throw it. Okay, we have to go here. I'm, I'm teaching you. Come here. <laughs> I got done this so many times. But basically, I was not fighting them or skipping it. But since you don't know the location, I will walk slowly. Come on. Into the circle. I'm going to use the booster again. Because I know I'm going to fight people. And the reason I use the uh, regeneration one because you will take a lot of damage from the toxic and smoke. Yeah. And down. I think the only reason I I've never really had used boosters is trying to find the uh, the poppies. I've not. I probably got do, a decent amount of poppies. Do and like will have a crossover in 2023? Yeah. I don't think so. But uh, it's it's good if you think about it but mm, it's not gonna happen <laughs> Boom. yeah I don't think they will either they're they're opposing companies look at that guy that... okay you can go collect by the way collecting number three we done let's go all right out we out Mm, sorry, I'm not right, fucking um, around. Oh, come up. All right. Oh, you see, what the hell? The game glitched to me for a second. Please tell Timon, Techland, and Dying Light Twitter and Discord about a crossover between. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of ideas, but some of the things that just can't happen. I mean. I won't say it's impossible, it's just most likely not going to happen. I'm curious as to what 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 type of crossover are you looking for? Like, do you want Aiden to appear in Dead Island 2 temporarily? Or, like, would you want Sam... Like, with, with Dying Light, they only have Aiden as a character, a playable character. So, for them to add... Oh, shit. I forgot the... We, uh, we can't can use, use the, our grappling hook in here. Yeah, you can use the paraglider, by the way. All good. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was doing the parkour. Like I said, I've been playing this. <laughs> <laughs> so I know the locations. This is nuts, man. Okay, I over had... there. You see the blue yeah. light over there? Yeah. That's where they are. We can go there. Let's go. What the hell? I thought somebody's falling. Ah! Uh, did you... God damn it. Oh, shit. One sec. No coming. Let me throw some flares for you. Because they will come after you when that happens. 
Screw that guy. Screw this guy. Are you sure about that? Whack, motherfucker! Get out of the way! I'm searching now. Yes. I got him. <laughs> it's all good. All right, man. That's four out of five. Hey, get off my friend, dude. Oh! Oh, uh, oh, shit! You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Pow, motherfucker. just realized you have the hyper mode, right? So yeah. The... They're gonna do damage to me since I have this uh, toughness booster with me. So I won't really take any damage. From them. But in uh, Elite One, you basically get all these things disabled, so that's a problem. Come on, ready? This is gonna be a little bit tricky, so you fall down. I need to do this parkour thingy. We don't have any uh, zombie here for some reason. I've seen them. Oh, this is the last one. That's easy. See, that's the thing. If um, That's how I've seen in some of the speedruns. Yeah. These enemies spawn very easily for them. Like, I've had a. Uh, I've had to wait like hours like just to get this perfect timing where I've seen all of these uh, guys like I've discovered at least five hag nests <laughs> what the hell is happening why uh, am I why am I running in the opposite direction I don't know oh that was nice dude I don't even bother to do any moves just tackle them it's so satisfying get out of here Boom! How is he? How is he alive? What the? Sir, die! What the heck? Did you see this guy? Yeah. How is he not dying? Right. Maybe this will help. Yeah. Stop something. Oh shit! You got he's a it. Smoke you guy. got it. He's a smoke guy. Since Dead Island 2 has some tech line employees, Dead Island 2 has the two anime. Two animations in line lines. All right. So you're out about the fact that um, I don't know about Dead Island 2 um, having some of the tech line employees because uh, I mean they did separate, right? For a good reason. Yeah. And tech line separated from uh, Deep Silver, so it happened a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Dying like came up. And they basically have no connections with them other than the fact that they made a game while they were working uh, with the Deep Silver. Right, they, when they were a, a together company. Yeah, which they no longer are, so that's why. Yeah. Uh, people need to understand they have nothing to do with Dead Island 2. Like, Not at all. Nothing. Yeah, they talked about it in, a, in, a, in an interview to Mon said, well, we would like to help, uh, you know, the, uh, the team at the I want to to make this game but they never said we were asked right but they said we are willing to help right um, I, d I don't want them to help <laughs> I mean honestly it's good if they help right it's good it's good it's, 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 uh, having partners is not a bad thing a partnership would be really great I'm pretty sure they will do wonders when they uh, go with the, uh, the, the team at that island too but uh, I don't think that that's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think so either. Yeah. They have their own game to develop. Right. Dying Light 2, uh, for five years, they're going to be, like, making content for it. They have another game coming up, by the way, a fantasy game. They're developing it. So their focus will totally be on that game. Why would they help somebody else uh, when they have their own game to make, you know? So that's one solid point. Right. Uh, uh, and... and they have a lot of work to do on this one game even like I, on dying light 2 alone not to mention the new one that they got mm -hmm. do do the do the drop kick dude drop kick oh i so dropped kick the nothing hag, when we kill the hag it will be over so let's not kill the hag kill kill these guys drop kick them okay now the big guy it's not gonna work with the big guy get out of here hag <laughs> oh shit, I missed it. Pow! 
Dying to his weapon breaking feature is going to be in dead on too, meaning we need to repair the weapon. Uh, it's been there since uh, since the first game came out from Techline. And by the way, the Dead Island 2 uh, that got leaked, the build that we're working on without Techline. Yeah. Uh, that also had the repair thing, so nothing new. Get out of it. I've seen the article, the one you're talking about, so I know. Oh, why am I using it? I need the arrows. I gotta, I gotta get the arrows off of this. Uh, I'm gonna die in there. My... Come on! I gotta recharge our immunity. <sighs> the same thing happened with me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't. How long does this toughness booster stay? Or which it? Oh, it's blurry as hell. Are you using oh, the gone. rage booster? Yeah, it's gone now. Yeah, that that will make you really overpowered. Boom boom. Oh, I gotta stomp him. Okay, I forgot I have this. I'm sorry. Are you out? You dead. You dead too. Watch that stanky stank. Pow. Come on, man. The Mark Massacre of 2024 is a history lesson. He's the gun. It doesn't hint the gun will be returning. It is there to tell you what happened to the guns. Why is there no guns in Dying White 2? That mission, that side quest you're talking about, it explains you. Tells you how the guns were seized. For a good reason. Yep. All guns were taken by the military. What? Jesus, like. I thought we killed all these guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Where's the hack? Oh, she I can is hear. me. Ah, uh, one sec, with my shotgun. Move, move. Thank her, she's gonna be down. Oh, she's glitched. Oh, she's stuck oh, up there? Oh, they keep respawning. Oh, don't do that. I hate these, uh... Virals and biters, you know, in Dying Light 2. Yeah. They, they jump on you, and uh, even if you dodge, it's not gonna work. Right. Their little and leap the jump attack thing. Ah, she's um, not, she's not glitched no more. Right, she. What the hell is she still glitched on me? <laughs> What's she? Oh just... no. about to die by the way. Alright, let's do it. Let me stick myself with a needle. Ah uh, no Get off my friend. Thud. I'm gonna go get hairless in this. <laughs> Where you at girl? Oh there you go. <laughs> He's about to die. You can hit her. Got her. There you go, nice one. She can't handle the bat. <laughs> All right, we did it. I I still have my very first weekly bounty, twenty-three out of twenty-five. Dude, I need to get the honey. I don't have honey. Me running out of honey. Uh, I can drop you some. How much you have? Let's find out. I have 200. Oh shit! <laughs> give me like 510. I'll be all right. Don't give me more than that because I I can always get that later on when I'm making a video. When I when I'm making a video, I go like um like I I made like I said I make mods on for for some of my videos, right? Yeah. Um, so I make mods and that gives me basically everything at that moment because I have I need to do stuff. Which I can't do normally. So I just need 510 for now because I gotta create this uh, toughness booster. I don't create them and I don't keep extra because I wanna play legit when I don't have my mods installed. Right. But that's why I don't have anything. <laughs> Thank you. 
I just created a bunch of uh, toughness boosters. Got them boosters. Yeah, those are really, really low power. Like, you can't, the enemies can't do anything to you. You have to. Let me see. Hi. Here. Got any questions? I. Let me buy the arrows. Oh, okay. My yeah, none of my boosters are even upgraded. Uh, yeah, I got a question. Something? No, I I'm good. I <laughs> was just looking at them. Yeah, I have stuff to uh, help you upgrade because I have everything maxed out. <laughs> I hope so after 2,500 hours, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be a shame if I don't have anything maxed out. I got I I'm. At all, like almost 720, and I still haven't gotten all the achievements and found all the uh, finding all the collectibles is what I haven't done. I've done that too. But nah, yeah, I got a, I got a good question for you, man. Mm -hmm. So, let's say you you never did get into YouTube. If you didn't okay. have your super successful YouTube channel now, what mm -hmm. would you like to be doing? Totally, with with your YouTube channel not even being an existing thing, what would you, you know, if not YouTube, what do you think you would have, what path would you have gone down? Uh, that's an easy question. So, uh, like my dad, basically, he is in the uh, uh, military. He's in he's in Indian Navy. So that's basically where I would have been. Would have went to the Navy. Yeah. My my older brother's been in been well he's been in the American Navy you for probably almost twenty years now. Yeah, my father served it for like uh, uh, right now he's like uh, I think plus thirty years, and um, I had the chance to be there like I, I I did all the studies I had the opportunity but I didn't go there. I could have easily gone, I could have easily gone a lot of things, a lot of the facilities and everything. And my life would have been like so chill. <laughs> but no. I don't like peace, I like problems. <laughs> <laughs> you know the meme, right? Yep. Yeah, I do, <laughs> man. Yep. Yeah, that's my, one. The, the, my brother, he, he probably has everything he could ever want. And it's all due because, you know, the military pays him very well. Like, he's got oh, a okay. nice house. He, his, his, He's got one kid who is never going to, he's never going to have to worry about feeding that kid or... Honestly, he... here's, here's the thing about uh, in the Navy that you don't know. Uh, we don't, like my dad doesn't get paid a good amount of money. He doesn't get paid. Like it's, it's so bad when he compares with the, with the amount of money that I earn from YouTube. And That's my, crazy. Uh, I would say, yeah, people in the US or other countries, their military actually earns a lot of money compared to our, uh, our Navy here. Um, it's not even a, it's not even thousand dollars, <laughs> right? That's um, nuts, man. Yeah, when I said I obviously earn more than that on YouTube, so that right. makes, uh, yeah. But at the same time, you gotta understand the 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 government gives you a lot of facilities that anybody out there would have would have to pay for, right? For the for the hospital, for the studies, right? And all the housing stuff. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. Um, the house obviously uh for the point like if you're working for for them you're gonna have you're gonna keep the house but once you stop working you're gonna definitely lose the the house <laughs> so, right <laughs> yeah right now I, I live in my own house like my, my like obviously uh, uh, we have to buy a house because my dad uh like he retired uh, like he, he retired from from the navy like uh two three years ago that's when he retired from the navy and uh yeah, I'm telling you, dude, <laughs> it's hard. But I gotta pay for uh, for hospital bills. I gotta pay for electricity bills. I gotta pay for uh, when I have to buy something. You know, uh, sometimes you can't afford to get something, so you get the 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 EMI, which is installments and all that stuff. You gotta pay for that. I'm telling you, the electricity is, electricity bill is so high, dude. I consume a lot of electricity here. <laughs> it's so high. Like I really have to pay a lot for that. And we have maintenance and all that stuff. So basically, right, right. even though my dad earns less money, being in Navy is uh, is more comfortable, to be honest, compared right. to not being in a government job. Plus, you know, so with, 
with the Navy, he, he knows that he has steady work and a steady income. Like For sure, for sure. That's YouTube the thing. channels fail all the time. I don't oh, think dude. yours is anytime soon, but, but... I've had good months. I've really had good months, but I've also had bad months. <laughs> so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's not always, um, I would say... Um, Good Sunshine money and YouTube. rainbows. <laughs> yeah, right. It messes up. Like, considering the fact that Dying Light doesn't have a lot of content, so obviously I'm not going to make a lot of videos, right? Because what, what am I going to talk about? So, if I don't right. upload a lot of videos, it's not going to be a lot of views. Uh, and people need to obviously see something unique. They're not going to just watch anything I post. I wish. <laughs> but uh, they're not going to watch anything I make, right? So, um, that's why it's important to... Do... I don't know. Throw it. Do a government job if you get it. That's what I, that's what I would have done if I was not doing YouTube. But since I love this stuff, I am doing it. And um, it's a struggle, but I still enjoy doing it. Yeah. yeah, people think YouTube is like you know you're gonna be really famous, you're gonna get a lot of money. Right. That's a right. lot of a lot of work, dude. Like I don't. I have so many sleepless nights. Like you can't believe. Yeah. That's how much I have to work. There was a, a statistic that went out back in like 2020 that was on average for people to reach just 1,000 viewers is 15.5 months of work. So, you know, just a, uh, it's like a year and three months of making, and that's even if you're making good quality content. Like, if you're making good stuff, it's going to take you at least a year to build up a thousand subscribers like it the, sh the shit does not happen overnight rome wasn't built in a day it takes lots and lots and lots of work and like you said yeah. when you started your channel back in 2012 mm -hmm. so 10 years a hundred thousand subs that's you know that's work I that's mean, you did work I mean, dude I mean, back then I had a, to be fair, back then I had a different channel, um, so, uh, so here's the thing, people need to know, when you start a channel, it's not, it's not always that you're going to have a successful channel, sometimes your channel fail, um, and you will learn from a lot of mistakes that you've done in the, in the past, like I'm, I'm, I used to upload copyright music, which I didn't know had big consequences, so I had, I had like my channel taken down because of the three copyright strikes that I had in my, in my first channel. Dang. The second channel that I made, I um, I stopped making videos and I forgot that it basically, uh, I forgot the password for that and um, <laughs> I don't even know if it still exists or not. But if you if you go and check my email ID, which is bestgamerally1 at the .com, there is actually another bestgamerally that's only bestgamerally at the .com, and that's my ID, which I don't know. <laughs> I can easily recover that, but I still don't care, man. It's, it's, it's all time. Right. Oh. Gotta focus on this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and you're killing it, man. You're killing the game. Ah, uh, dude, it's uh, so much work. Like, uh, right now, I have a lot of uh, stuff going on. Like, I, I need to think about the videos I'm gonna make. That's why when I started the video, I asked... The, when we started the stream, I asked the question, like, what kind of theories you would like to see? Because that's what I'm, I'm planning to do next. Because I, I like to see the theories, you know, when I make a theory, I see a lot of people, you know, some may agree with me, some don't, they come up with their own theory, and I love to read them. It's very, very entertaining to read that, and uh, it, it sort of uh, gives me an idea, right, about their imagination, what kind of things they expect in a game, and all that stuff. So, it helps me for the future videos, also to give suggestions to Techland, <laughs> this is what people ask for. Right, like, <laughs> these are so what... So, that's why. Uh, I have, like, um... So, I have, like, three videos that... Uh, I, I would say... So, basically, I have sponsorships. Right. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> but, the thing is, you can't... Like, I, I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to have the sponsors in any video, right? Like, I, I sometimes make any video I want. Um... I want to I wanna pick a good topic, right, so, because the, the sponsor that I have, I feel like people are going to like it. Uh, 
at least if, if they like <laughs> because I've, I've seen people use that stuff so i know people are gonna love it if you love gaming you can definitely do it uh that's 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 sort of uh the kind of sponsors i pick i did pick one which i later regretted but i'm not gonna say the name <laughs> because i still am in the contract <laughs> right but, um, yeah <laughs> don't get yourself they in trouble good. <laughs> they <didn't pick> good. <laughs> screw them <laughs> but no still the contract uh, but yeah, I've learned that you need to pick good sponsors that your people can relate to and the people will feel yeah. willing to like get them. That's why um, I have the sponsor that is good for my viewers. I know that for a fact. But then I want to have it in a video that where it will reach a lot of people. So it benefits me at the same time. People obviously will... What the hell happened? People will definitely enjoy the video because that's what I'm, kind of topic I'm picking. I, I can I can probably say that because I'm already working on it. So can I say the the, the upcoming video idea? Should Ooh. it be good? Uh -huh. is, I don't know. is it a good idea <laughs> to say what, what's coming up? Uh, how I, okay. how about give us a little hint but don't actually you know what I mean? Just get just get us get us let's get our minds working on what it might be. But yeah, I mean I don't know, if you wanna tell us. That's all up to you, yeah. man. About a, it's about I'm breaking down something which um, okay I'm breaking down something about the 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 villains of Dying Light. That's gonna be a good one. What? Yeah. That, every every villain. Rise, mother, Waltz, Waltry. Sort of talk about them because it, uh, okay I can say this because I already have the video uh, under work so. It's all right. Since it's a live stream, so people will know I spoke about it first. If somebody decides to copy it, you know, screw it. <laughs> but um, trademark yeah. it right now. Yeah. It's it's tra it's been trademarked by Best Game Raleigh. You can't use his idea. Right. <laughs> and, I mean, some people do, right? But I, I, don't, I don't mind right now. I'm still gonna get uh, my my loyal audience watching it, so all good. Right. Um. So basically, uh, you know, if you play Dying Light, you would have noticed that the the, I think we spoke about this right uh, during our previous call that the villains are not actually villains if you if you understand their backstory there's actually a, another person that's the villain somebody else is the villain and talking about Kyle Crane he's not the good guy if you think about it he's I mean, a bad guy he's one of the bad guys who later turns out to be good uh, yeah he, a little bit I, it's like you're about to blow a city, but then you change the mind. And you're like, I want to do it now. I feel bad for these people, but hey, you still came with a bad intention. Kyle Crane was not here to help people. He was there to help GRE. <laughs> right, yeah, he was there to extract <laughs> rice. That. Yeah. People need to know, he literally caused a lot of deaths because this guy listened to GRE, who told him to destroy all those vials of the, uh, the Anderson. Just because, you know, that would force them to contact Rise to get all those antisons. So that was that's kind of really, really shady for Kyle Crane. <laughs> he made those people suffer just because he wanted to do what Yori Austin did. So he's a bad guy. Talking mm -hmm. about Rise, he's a backstory, which I'm gonna definitely discuss in the video. But if you know his backstory, you will know why he's not the bad guy. Obviously, what he later does is, is definitely bad, but then. You know, like Techland likes to say, your choices have consequences. Yeah. Not everyone is born bad. The, the, the condition, the situation, that's what makes one person bad. I don't know necessarily his backstory. All I, I know that Rice worked for the GRE, and he was, like, sent to Haran for something, and then, you know, ended up going rogue. That's about... He was the I think he was the lieutenant. Lieutenant Rice. Yeah. Then what he was sent there for, I, I don't know, and what happened to him. None of that stuff I know. Yeah, some some of the some really bad thing happened with him, and I could tell you if I was there in his in his shoes, I would have done worse. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not gonna say it. I already have a video talking about Rice, like, but uh, since I'm gonna talk about everybody now. It's gonna be a different story. Like I, I want to see what pop, what well, like everybody thinks. Are these villains really bad? Do they really think these guys are bad, or like somebody else deserves the title? Because for me, somebody else is bad. I think, I, 
can't necessarily... I say that the choices that they made that led them to where they were are bad, but, you know, maybe they had good intentions in the beginning. Well, yeah, what if you didn't make any choice and you were forced to do something? You were, made, you were not in that situation. They made you, uh, you know, suffer in that situation. Um... I guess there, you know, it's it's a little more justified. It, you know, realistically, it, it from my point of view, you know, it is a game world. However, if somebody, you always have a choice. Like you said, choices have consequences. If someone says, hey, you take this gun and go shoot this person or I'm going to kill you, you have the choice, you know. You can go do something terrible. Or you can just, you know what? Go ahead and kill me, man. I ain't doing that. So, um, yeah, I like to, like, um, discover pretty much everything in the game, like every small detail. So I've checked some of the, uh, some yeah, of the game You do files a good I job found... on that, man. <laughs> I, I found a few stuff about the survivors as well. So oh, when the video comes out, it's going to be really interesting. Do we have a date yet? Or... or... Do you know when it might when it might be out? So I'm planning for uh, what is the date today? Uh, I'm... I think it is the 10th. Let me check the date once again. I have it. Oh no! It... Wow, I... today is the 8th. I'm terrible. I was maybe uh, 14 before 14. Okay. It can, it can drop anytime. Yeah, before 14, it can drop anytime. No, that's gonna be a good oh. one, man. Yeah, I hope people will enjoy it. But then I need more ideas. That's what I'm going to ask in the video as well. Like, give me more ideas. What kind of theories would you like me to talk about? Um, um, I feel like I can talk about some of the stuff. Like, I want to talk about the uh, the uh, the zombie mutation. You know, uh, the, some of the mutations are very very different, and I, I wonder why that happened. So I have few of the sources, so I've seen stuff. Um, some of the uh, mutations are worse than what we had in Dying Light, the weak ones, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, some of them are really weak. And what happened to Char Like, who made the, the Charger and who made the Drowner? I'm so confused. Why would uh, you come up with a, with a Drowner? <laughs> I think Imagine they just kind of ripped it off of, off the, off Dead Island to be, like, uh, you know, uh, a vet. Like the charger Dude. and the demolisher, all those, the ram, that's all, that's all Dead Island. I mean, it's, it's Techland only, so I won't call it a ripoff, you know, it's, it's their game. They're the one who came with those names. But, was, uh, Dead Island, Dead Island, didn't Dead Island come out before Dying Light? Yes, but, uh, Techland is the one who made it. Hmm. Huh. So dang, yeah, so made, they made Dead Island and the Riptide. That's so right. The, uh, the new zombies that we have there, which I don't think we have a lot of new zombies because most of them are common. We have seen this in other games as well. In fact, the Drowner, I've seen that in, in Witcher game as well. Stay in the Witcher. Game. You know which one I liked, man. I, I and I, I'm kind of curious as to why they didn't bring it back. Is the Butcher. The dude the that just, yeah, he didn't have hands, and he was like, it, it was from, oh, yeah, and he would just come up and smack the shit out of you with his little nubs. The, the most annoying one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just because they were so intimidating, man. Like, you either kill them or get killed. Like, there's no running away from it. They're gonna chase you. Man. I remember, I remember being so scared playing Dying Light, the original. <laughs> For sure. That's what happened with me as, as well. I was so scared now, and I played Dying Light too, I was not even scared of it. Like a no, little bit, maybe. Man. Like, maybe a little bit, because when I saw a lot of the volatiles, I was like, holy shit. And then it turns out, you know, the volatiles don't show yeah. up as often. Yeah. The thing is with the chase, when we have volatiles, it's almost unplayable if you're not running. You can't face them. Right. 
it's unplayable. Like, I don't know what they were thinking, but they made it like a tank. It's unplayable against the Volatiles. Um, it doesn't make sense after the, that after Chase 3, you only have Volatiles. Like, why can't we have mixed uh, zombies chasing us? Right? It's like, have everybody chase us. What, what, why, why only Volatiles? It makes no sense. Because my screen is totally filled with all these arrows pointing towards only one zombie. That's Volatiles. Why? <laughs> what do we have here? Operated kit? Mm. <laughs> Noish. I already have it. Yeah, I got the Enzo Katana. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Well, what, what, what deer? Oh, it's just, it's just the artifact. Alright, come here. What weapon do you see here? I got a paper card. I'm not gonna pick oh, it up. Shit. It's a bad one. I killed myself. Alright, come in. <laughs> I want someone to help me uh, duplicate medical. Uh, why do I want to duplicate those? You, uh, oh, at the same time, why don't we have a blueprint for the for the military medical? Like I made a video for, I even showcased on my channel. Like I made a blueprint for military medical. I was like, why can't we make them? Yeah, I don't. Final yeah, that's upgrade, crazy. Final upgrade should have been for the military medical, not these bandages. Right, that still take, you know, four seconds to apply. Yeah, that's so stupid. Oh, I don't know about the choices, dude. The, the, the choice... Ow! <laughs> the choices are kind of messed up for, for the sequel. A lot of messed up choices. Yeah, and I, I'm... They, uh... I'm glad that they pushed back the uh, Bloody Ties. They pushed it back to November 10th. My 33rd birthday is November 9th, so... Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep, like, you know, like, hey, well, I, I guess, honestly, I'd rather them release a good content, you know, good hey, content. Uh, hey, here's the thing about this one. I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Oh, um, you good? Yeah, this is something I've heard from other people as well. Like, I'm, I'm happy it's being delayed because, you know, delay means good content. No, delay doesn't mean good content. Delay means the game has issues. De delay means that the devs have... You know, stumbled upon an issue. Bugs which, in. Uh, yeah. Which they. I don't know how to explain this, but imagine they have delayed this three times now. What right. What reason did they give you? They gotta fix the bug, optimize it, because I've heard that a lot of times in the past. Oh, Dying Lecture was delayed like every single year, saying <laughs> they needed time to optimize, till the game came out buggy. So that's right. Right, man. Oh, shit. The game wasn't even like when it came out for me. What's up, Netro? Netro stopped in. Hey, Netro. He's one of the, uh, he's, he's the, I watch his videos like when I'm like totally bowed and everything. Sometimes when I I'm not even uh, informed about an update, I watch his. Uh, I'm sorry, I can save you. I watch his That's videos okay. sometimes, and I'm like, oh, I got it. I got. I got. You know, we got this thing coming out in the game. So. Recently, I had no clue about the cutscene. I saw his thing, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, a new that was a really good find, Netro. That's that. I, yeah, because whew, nobody's gonna have that much time to like complete the game again and again this time. And he did it. So I'm like, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> right, and you know, they, like, the, I think the crazy part is the fact that you know, I think I skipped every cutscene when I started the game. Just to, like, you know, keep the gameplay going. And then, you know, on my second playthrough, I watched a lot of them. And then never again. I've never I've never sat through a cutscene ever again to know if it's changed or not. <laughs> I haven't played the, the story after, like, my uh, 1,500 hours. Like, uh, 1,200 hours, I didn't play any story again. Because I already have all... Like four saves with me where I have completed the story like multiple times and now I can't because I'm bored with the story and I hate the story so much I can't rewatch yeah. it but it's good to have a channel that updates you with that stuff so good job Netro yeah man for that kind of content well I hate myself for replaying the story <laughs> <laughs> I told you nobody would put themselves with that stress dude it's so bad it's uh, yeah I wish they had a counter because I'm pretty sure this is my eighth playthrough, my eighth new game plus. And my I, I... game is bugged. Okay, 
I, I, for me, I've created a new game plus, and I have every feature that new game plus gives you. But the game still says you can create a new game plus with the new game plus save. Like, what is gonna be now? New game plus plus? Right. Um, it's, uh, and it, when I do that, it actually creates a new save, which is very weird. I don't know how it, that works, but it's very stupid. <laughs> and it's very bugged. Like, it, there's a lot of stuff bugged. And co-op is still playable, uh, unplayable. Techline, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, fix the co-op. <laughs> It's so bad. Like, I'm playing it right now after months. And look, it's still broken. It is, man. And, you know, like, most games come... Most games are made nowadays with cross-platform. You know, ready with release. The fact that we, you know, they haven't even acknowledged that they're going to work on cross-platform yet is disturbing. <laughs> But, you know, yeah, ultimately, I, I guess it doesn't matter, but just to be able to play with more people is it, good for everyone. The ending when we see Spike and Nicholas. Nicholas disappeared, so Spike spent his time talking to a wall. <laughs> hey, if you have that thing, please send me because I'm working on a video. I would need that. I would really need that. If you have that clip, send me on Discord. anybody like really if they have any um, any issue in the game any glitch or any good thing they discovered send me a clip <laughs> because I'm definitely gonna include it in my upcoming video like I have something planned and uh, that sure will come in handy I can say that thing as well I've been saying that for like quite some time uh, I've, I've spoken about this to Oni as well I'm basically going to review Dying Light 2 but on consoles alright I, I've heard a lot of complaints it's from console very players. Bad. <laughs> I thought Dude. so. It's double, it's double bugs, double performance issues. They they said, you know, I, I was having this textures bug, and I heard people say, you know, oh, you have a slow hard drive. Excuse me, like, what are you talking about? Like, I got this thing from the uh, like, Sony made this stuff, right? Yeah. So if they had a, a particular specs, I feel like that's what the game is being optimized for. I don't think so. They go like, oh, the game, the, the PlayStation has the, let's say for example, 30, 3060 Ti graphics card. Yeah. So you can, you're not gonna make the the game for a 4060, right? Right. That, that's not how stuff works. Just because I can upgrade, maybe in the future, you're not gonna make a game with that high ends on a on a on a platform with low specs right or even for people you know who might not have the best of the best equipment but yeah if you want to enjoy dying light 2 on consoles get a ssd because you're gonna have a lot of texture issue when i got the ssd i still faced a few bugs few not few bugs a lot of bugs but few uh, texture bugs but it was not that bad when compared to the hard disk it was so bad dude like imagine um walking out a cutscene and you will see the whole building grayed out the gray faces of all the humans and zombies like it's so messed up that's how bad it was and i have all those footages it's very that's bad awesome. and that tuned the latest work the latest version <laughs> so it's, it's messed up i'm sorry yeah, console I players <laughs> yeah definitely look man I'll just go ahead, on behalf of everyone at Techland, I'm going to thank all of us. I'm going to thank Best Gamer Ali, Oni Zombies, Netro, all the all CGG, all the big YouTubers who do content on Dying Light 2. Techland has dropped the ball on this game, and we're still here, still playing it, so. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, guys, from Techland. Yeah, I think you've seen um, a video from Ozzy recently about talking about the physics of Dying Light 2. Yeah. So sad, dude. It's, and, and he's so right in that video. Everything he said, I feel like Techland definitely should listen to what he said. And what pretty much everyone, one of us is, is saying about the game. I mean, it has issues you gotta understand. Like, I understand you have a vision. I understand that Techland really has a good vision. But hey, that's not what we're gonna play. Right. Right. You and gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta change few things because that's what the community wants. You, you're not making this game for yourself. 
Right. Us full of people. And so, dude, I, I'm gonna be totally honest. Like yesterday or the day before, time and had that whole like poll about which direction you know zombies could potentially go. The fantasy, sci-fi, feudal Asia, or uh, the wild, wild west. Like, dude, that's why I, I don't understand why he's even like going into topics like that like no that's can i tell you why yeah they have no clue what they're making <laughs> i don't know what yeah i if don't you don't have any idea about what you're working on you ask people because see they tried something and they know it didn't yeah. work out so then now they are asking people like what do you want to see so they will throw a lot of ideas out there and then they're going to experiment with it which is not how Dying Light was made. Like I, Dying Light was unique. Nobody, nobody expected that to come out, right? It was, it was out of nowhere and had something unique. Tell me what, what does Dying Light do have unique? Choices uh, and consequences. Uh, that? No, not even, not, not even, dude. Like Fable, Fable is like one of the original games that I can remember that has choices and consequences and that type of gameplay where your choices affect. The world around you fable I, i'm almost positive started that and that's that's like that's like the original xbox like you know one thing choices and con consequences in a nutshell if i have to explain that imagine having uh ten hundred options doesn't matter what option you choose you still end up being in this in this spot right right so, that's what your choice is. Yeah, that's man. The whole choices with. concept ends up being a facade. Like, you, yeah, no yeah. matter what you do, you still... End up being in that location, in that particular spot, in that particular situation. So it doesn't matter. I've, I've actually had a few examples with a front of, of some of the characters that regardless of your choice, that person dies. So why am I even making a choice? <laughs> like, I don't understand. If she's going to die three different painful ways what's the point oh, like no, doesn't matter if i go and help her because if i go and help her she's gonna die if i ignore her she's, she's gonna, gonna die, die. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what's the point of the have, having the choices some of the choices are so stupid like it doesn't make any sense you have questions that no one cares about that aiden keeps asking you have him doing stupid stuff and he's supposed to be looking for his sister and I'll cut into Declan, uh, Bloody Ties uh, happens uh, before right. the epilogue. So, right. what is it doing? Right. Damn, why, why dude. Why is he not looking for Mia? What a good point. Oh, my God. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it. Like, why is he out there when he's supposed to be looking right. for his sister? What's he like, doing playing in arenas and fighting people? And Exactly. Uh-oh. But it makes no sense when you think about it. That's why That's why they have no idea. They good just luck. go in with the flow. Good luck, Techland. Like, good luck painting that story out. Netro said he has that clip. He thinks. I send me that. <laughs> I have Dying Light 2 on my SATA set on PC. Dying Light 2 <laughs> gave me a blue screen. What's going on, Yuja? How you doing, man? You having a good day? Either I've that. had a blue screen, but before, uh, I think it was, uh, it was in 1.01, the first patch, I had a blue screen, my, all the saves were gone, <laughs> I was so pissed at Declan, I went to uh, the influencer manager, and I'm like, I lost my save, I was making a video, like, I was literally doing a walkthrough of Dying Light 2, and I lost the save, because they, the game corrupted it, and I was like, what am I supposed to do now, all my, all my progress is gone, so thanks uh, to one of the modders who made uh, this thing called Dev Menu for this game, and that helped me. That saved me. But then, then, I, then again, like a lot of days passed, and I couldn't, I couldn't make a video about the gameplay. Like I stopped doing it. So maybe in the future I will do it. But it's just something I remember that had that, that, that the stuff messed up, and it was not just me. A lot of people complained, yeah. dude. If you want yeah. to look old tweet. Everybody complained about their, their stuff getting messed up, their game getting crashed, it was crashing, and you had audio bugs, you had fast travel bugs, 
you had vaults still day i still have another save where the vaults is like roaming around in the city for me like, what am i <laughs> supposed to do with the guy he's fighting me I, i'm i can't even play the game oh, i see all i see his uh his, his uh, health bar on my screen every single time and That's then you have nuts. uh you have one particular safe out that you can you cannot fast travel till day like you cannot use the bed so um and there are still places where you have those campfires which yep. are bugged out. So I don't understand why these things are not being fixed. And it's been there since like a, day one. Like what's going on? Day one. And everybody has been reporting. And I it was it was funny when I see some of the some of the people in the community just start taking the side of Techland, saying, "Hey, you can restart the game. The game just came out, bro. No." That's not like, yeah. That's not the point. Yeah, I could restart it, but just for it to bug again. Yeah, like what's what's the point of telling the consumers to fix their stuff when the when the sellers have to fix it? Like we we're, we're the consumers, right? We're not supposed to fix our stuff. They're supposed to fix it because they sold it to us. And right. They, it's their product. No, we're and just they, supposed to play it. Yeah. That's our unless job. It's my, unless it's my system's fault, which is not. <laughs> So it doesn't make any sense when I see people taking their side. Like, take their side when they're right, but not in this case. Nah, yeah. Dude, I've got a lot of mixed feelings on, on, these, on this particular game myself, man. Either that, Netra says the vote could be related to possibly dying light. Oh. D downloadable content number two or three. Yuja says, I'm not the one to be ignorant, but ever since Chris got the boot, I knew choices and consequences weren't going to go well. Okay, take, take this thing. Collect that, collect that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are a lot of things wrong. So I feel like if we have a chance to like speak, like they should speak to people who are like who are like the the veterans, I would say. Right. The guys who played the the first dying life for hours and they've been playing it for a long time. They know what to uh, sort of you know expect, what people would love, you know, what they want in the game. I feel like you should listen to them, not listen to uh, I, I won't call big uh, I won't call their name, but there are some big YouTubers that gave their feedback barely played the game and I was thinking why they need the feedback from these people and now I know they needed somebody to explain to them like how to make an RPG <laughs> so so stupid I love the game you know that's that's one reason I always get pissed at that land because they need to understand that there is a loyal audience that will definitely play regardless of how much they mess up Yo. but hey you still need to do justice to them, right? They, they can't be just blindly following you every single time. It's not going to happen. Nah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, people will only eat shit for so long before they're like, you know what? I'm tired of eating shit. I'd rather Look, have a piece of pizza. See the bug here? <laughs> see the... And I was talking about it. The campfire. You see it? No, I don't I don't see it. You don't see it? Uh -huh. you know, right here. If you use the survivor sense, you'll see the campfire right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I don't see the campfire, but I get an option to sit here. Yup. Do you have it too? Dying Light is going to have a legend level. Let me see oh, there. yeah. Um, they have stuff planned, yes, for that. So I would say yes and uh, like yes and no at the same time because they do have plans for the levels and everything, but not entirely uh, legendary levels. But ex expect something. Definitely gonna be good, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gonna be good, hopefully. Look what I just said. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm refraining from saying my own sentence. Like I'm screwing up. The campfire is back for. Oh, dude. Uh, they had a uh, patch note that said they fixed it, but I still found it the next day. Yeah. Especially if you of course they don't have to clear it. Exactly. Yeah. You see, um, I, 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 how, do you, how do you say your name? The guy I, with I've the, been uh, I've been saying Yuja. 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 Okay, Yuja. He is the, he's totally right. 
They read his comment. That's what I'm saying. They have no idea about what what, what they're making. Because no. they have been switching up a lot. Of, they have multiple ideas. They're trying everything to see what works for the people. Like, you need to have one idea and focus on that. That's how you make something better. You cannot keep, like, you know, like, rebuilding everything again and again, remaking everything. Right, it's just gonna, it, it's just gonna break something else. You might fix something else, but changing, cha yeah, dude, like, putting in core mechanics and then going back and changing the mechanics, it, you're just, you're just right. asking for problems. There, there's what I, uh, I like to say in my, on my channel, and people know about this thing. They use this line a lot of times when I, when I'm like talking about Techland. Uh, Techland basically released the game when it was unfinished. Now all they're doing is damage control. The damage has been done. They're doing damage control by releasing patches. Think about um, the community updates. I like the community update. Okay, I'm, 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 I love Techland because they listen to the community. But then again. Why? Why did did it come to this, where you have to ask people what to put in the game that you've been working for years? Right. And uh, <laughs> they're probably saying, "Well, listen to our community." Well, yeah, but do you know what your community wants? No. No, they don't, man. That's and the that's... problem. <laughs> I I feel like. They should, you know, continue working on the bloody ties, and then oh, after so that, they should just, you know, stop doing everything, and genuinely start collecting feedback from the people on where the people want the game to go next. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I really wanted a story... Uh... Stories to a DLC story that is um, that happens after Aiden leaves the, the city. That's what I was really hoping for. I don't mind Bloody Ties. I'm definitely excited for it. I have loved Bozak Hood. I've, I've kind of liked the whole idea. I've seen a few things that the general public hasn't. It looks beautiful. I can tell you that in one word. It's very, very. Um, first impressions is good, okay? Good. But yeah, I, I really want to play it. To be able to like say basically and recommend it if i can which i feel like i will unless 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 you know something goes something goes south <laughs> but i will be playing it um and i will tell people what this is about but i have a good and bad feeling both at the same time bad that it's not gonna have a lot of zombie activity it's gonna have no it already has nothing to do with the story right Right. So, and it always, yeah, yeah. like you said, it does, doesn't even make sense in the storyline plot. Like, hey, I'm here to find my, my sister, uh, but hold up. Let me, like, let me not find her, and I'm just going to go fuck around over here in this arena. And, you know, I'll be back later to find you, Mia. So, just hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of worried because uh, if this thing goes bad bloody ties everyone is going to be like okay this is bad no, it's not going to be doomed entirely but everyone's going to be focused on the next dlc which is the story dlc 2 that originally was supposed to come out this year uh we were, so since that is also getting delayed you know because obviously if you're getting the first dlc that was supposed to come out in june and we're getting it now in november imagine what will when the story dlc 2 will come out probably next year in the mid Right, I'm summer, probably summertime, late. yeah, I mean, or later. That gets late. Yeah. But <laughs> I know the story to DLC. <clears throat> you already know it. Yeah. Or what it's supposed to be. Now let's yeah, see. No, yeah, yeah. The, let's just see from what you know and what they've told you how much they actually stick to it. That's yeah, exactly. That's what I'm. That's what I'm actually waiting for. Um, and. Uh, Probably when the Bloody Dice DLC releases, maybe after a month, I will talk about the story DLC too. Because I want people to focus on the first DLC. Um, my, basically my my whole, uh, my heart basically says I'll enjoy the, the, the game, I'll enjoy the game mode. And uh, I'm pretty sure if I enjoy it, I can definitely see people enjoying it too. Yeah. But if, if it doesn't work, 
gonna be a big problem. I we just... already have let people play in the game, dude. Like it, it's so bad. Yeah, it really is, man. Like, like I said, I, mean, I, I, I haven't played in almost two weeks now. Exactly. Like I stress out for them. I, I'm pretty sure they are also stressed. They are thinking about a lot of things because I stress a lot. Uh, since I make videos on this game, you know, so I, I, I definitely care because it, obviously if the game is live, I get content, right? But just to be fair, to be honest, that's what the thing is. If I don't, like, if I don't be honest, they're not going to improve. So I can't go ahead and just lie about, you know, oh, the game is so good. There's no problem, no improvement needed. If I, if I keep doing that, it's never going to improve. Right, and you know, not even that, like, I'm sure there, there's, I don't I think there's here. a perfect game at all. Coming. Yeah, they, somehow, somehow I got two tyrants for some reason. I don't know how. Oh yeah, talking about perfect, yeah, there's no game that's perfect. I mean, I don't want to say that, but God of War, I love that game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have a sweet spot for God of War game. That's perfect for me. If you haven't played God of War, dude, you're missing. Missing I'm, into something. I'm ready for Ragnarok. Dude, that, that looks so good. Read and it, boy. <laughs> and you, <laughs> you know the bad thing about the uh, the bloody ties? The only thing I'm afraid uh, afraid for right now for, bad, for bloody ties. What? I said bad blood for some reason. Uh, blood ties. Um, uh, it's releasing in the same week as the Ragnarok. Yo. My friend Jaraptor, who's, a, who's a, another YouTuber, basically makes assassins. Yeah. Oh, we know Jor. Video. Yeah, Jaraptor, yeah. So he tweeted out to me and said, it's coming out the same week as God of War Ragnarok. I'm like, what? Yo. Because that's bad. It's gonna... I, I, I feel like Jacklan should have actually seen all kind of games like what kind of games are releasing the same month the same week because this release date is gonna cost them a lot of problem it's actually gonna cost them a lot of problem i'm pretty sure absolutely people are gonna dude Rock people Rock more. hey <laughs> yup yup bloody ties is definitely gonna get shadowed by ragnarok man 100 I, I have a I'm, I'm stuck in this because see I love Ragnarok. I love God of War, dude. I, I just can't. Like, I really want to play Bloody Ties, but then Ragnarok, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm stuck. What am I going to do? Because I'm a YouTuber who makes dying like content, but I also enjoy God of War so much. It's, it's, it's it, like I have memories with the game, you know? Oh, yeah. So. I mean, you do you, man. You do what you want. Like, start making Ragnarok videos, you know? I'm sure you could find something to to do. Oh yeah, I can. I, I I have ideas for the Ragnarok, but then again, I don't want to leave my audience left behind just because I'm playing a different game. I want to do both. If I have to work day and night, I can do that. I'll play Ragnarok and I'll do Bloody Ties too. Well, don't so, burn yourself out, man. That's for sure. Hey, anyway, it's not gonna be forever, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, but for... <laughs> it's always. Uh, I'm always burning out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always like working extra. Netra said, I don't play God of War. He's stuck with bloody ties. Uh, dude, if, uh, if you don't have a PlayStation, I understand that. But if you have a PlayStation, definitely go for that game, dude. Also, Days Gone, dude. I've, I've heard some few people talking about it, and I just got Days Gone on Steam because I've already played it on my PlayStation. Yeah. I love that. Days Gone, it's a good one. I'm coming down to save you. They did a really, really good job with that. They brought a type, like almost like a Left 4 Dead type of zombie infection towards it, where they're just so many and absolutely relentless. What sucks is there's no sequel coming out. No. You should heal. Why is he running? Because he's getting his ass kicked. Oh no. I throw a flare. Suck it, Gil. 
No, I don't own a PC because you can't find the console itself nor the money. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Where did he go? He did. Okay, coach is by. <laughs> Get his stuff. He doesn't own a PC. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> PlayStation. That, well, that was my first console. Uh, PlayStation 4 base, then I got PlayStation 4 Pro. Never got the PlayStation 5 because I, I, I sort of found, I find it very, um, for me, it's sort of useless right now because I already have a really good PC with really good specs. I don't want to waste my money on PlayStation 5 because ah. I, I mean, God of War is coming out on PlayStation uh, base as well, even for the pros. I mean, I mean I'm fine. But maybe in the future, when the stuff goes cheap. Right, and then you can actually go into a store and buy it. Like it's still really hard to to even try and purchase a PS5. Oh, for sure, dude. I I don't have that much money in my hand to like spend on something like a PlayStation Five. Right. And be like, oh, I'm satisfied now. No, I will never be satisfied while spending that much money. Nope. I save a lot of money, dude. Like that's my habit. It's a good habit to have, bro. But, know, you know, yeah. the only thing is, when you die, it doesn't go with you. Exactly, that's the problem. <laughs> you know, uh, I always, if I have to buy something, I think for hours. That's what my mother even says. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna buy it if you think for hours, because that's what I usually do. I'm thinking, thinking, should I get it? Should I get it? Should I get it? And I don't get it at the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I like to save money. I'm like, should I buy? Should I waste money? Should I get this much? And then I end up not buying it. When I buy it, I regret, even though I'm happy that I bought it for someone, I still regret that I spent that much money. Yeah. <laughs> Me. My, uh, my grandma told me once not to look at, hey, I have to spend $50 on this. Instead of it, look at it as how much money you make per hour and how many hours did it take for you to make that amount of money to pay for it so instead look hey dude I just spent six hundred dollars on this ps5 or whatever which turns into f uh, 57 hours of my life that I had to work to to buy this thing and, you know it, it just kind of helps right. put things into perspective for you a little more like do you really want to do you really want to spend 600 hours of your life to buy one PlayStation or whatever <laughs> yeah you get to good, good way to put it, yeah. Yeah, Yuja, I'm down for Dead Space 3 co-op. You got questions? I'm ready. Because I, I talk a lot, dude. Uh, I actually, I'm, you want to take like a, a five minute break? I got a, I got a good potty. I'm, I'm down, I'm cool. Okay, well, I'm just going to... How many, how many hours have, been, have, have we been talking? Uh... Let's find out. Yeah. Wait, it's already been two hours? Whoa. <laughs> Has it really? Yep. I mean, according two, to you. Two hours and 13 minutes. See, that's, that's what happens when you're enjoying a conversation. You don't look at the time. That's nuts. It, I mean, I knew it's been a minute, but I thought it was only like 45 minutes to an hour or so. <laughs> so you got, you got questions? Any question you want to ask me or anybody in the chat want to ask me a question? Go for it. Yeah, somebody ask him a good question while you run to the potty room. I co quit saying potty. I'm not fucking seven. I'll be right back. Going to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I had a PS2 and PSP. I never had a PlayStation uh, anything basically. It was in 2015 when I got my uh, PlayStation 4. One thing I do want to say is there's another game with probably make dying a lot. That is dead on. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That's what I said in my video. I was glad Dead Island 2 is coming out because that will definitely put a lot of competition for uh, for Techland they will they will now really focus on the content and all the stuff they're actually posting because they will have a good competition with another game I hope Dead Island 2 is successful to be honest 
And even the uh, Dying Light 2 was successful with, with a lot of copies they sold, but it's just uh, people stopped playing it after they were done with the story. I would really enjoy a PvP mode. Uh, I miss that. PvP mode means a lot of content and a lot of uh, rating and a lot of good videos. I used to make a montage. Oh my god, I miss those times with, with the montage of me. Uh, Spider Games used to make it. Uh, Visu Camps. And there's uh, other people as well. Like They used to make montages for Dying Light. And everybody everybody used to love those kind of uh, what they, healthy, healthy competition. You know, it was, it was fun. So I feel like that you be if people were done, they'll definitely be on. the way I do about you now. It's back. Says the COVID restriction and development. I wonder if making the game for the PlayStation 4 ended most of the features. So, um, yeah, you're right about that. You actually are right about that. I feel like that could have been the case. If they are going to be optimizing the game for the old gen, I'm pretty sure they have to make a lot of sacrifice for the game. So maybe most of the good features were left out, and maybe the, oh yeah, Elysium. Maybe that game, uh, game mode, um, the whole map was left out because of the performance issues. Then they were not able to optimize it for the consoles. It's quite possible. But then again, we won't know because they never said anything, right? So they need to open up, be yeah. more clear about this. The transparency is just not there, man. Not there, nah. <laughs> You know, the only thing that every time they say when they delay shit, they're like, oh, we got to optimize it. We want, we want to make sure the quality is out, even though it never comes out. But And then when it does finally come out, the quality isn't that good. Exactly what I said. Like, the quality never comes out. They just say, oh, we just need time to give you guys, deliver this quality to you. But, hmm, I don't see it. So, <laughs> yeah. I just want to say, somehow this went from me and you hanging out and talking about you to essentially this whole time we've been just just kind of been shitting on Techland. <laughs> that was never I mean, the intention but we've I mean, we talked about me but we also talked about the uh because see uh, we we still um that that's the game we play right that's the yeah. game i cover it's basically uh that's good our to hear. community um, yeah that's good to hear from me about the game what i feel like and the reason that you know, some of the stuff failed from Techland. And like I said, see, people in the comments, they know what they're talking about. So, there you go. And Metro is saying they're lazy. Um, I, I feel like a lot of the people even left from from Techland. So, it's not the original team. That no, it's like. not. So, there's a lot of different ideas. And I'm pretty sure not everybody uh, will, you know, will agree with, with the other ideas. So, I'm pretty sure there was a clash of ideas. And something worked out. Something didn't. We got this. Take my just asked dates. All right, you want to ask me questions? I got one for you, man. So, I have m the whole reason I started streaming a little bit more is I have trouble coming up with I like you know you said you're kind of having trouble. You've run into a, a, an idea wall, and that's what I want to. Ha what can you divulge us? even just a little bit on your creative process? How do you come up with your ideas and execute them? Oh yeah. Okay, so like I said uh, about the ideas, you know, uh, I like to experiment with a lot of stuff. And um, if, you've, if you see my channel, I've, I've started doing something that I never did in the past and I've started making longer videos, right? So those longer videos, if you go watch my uh, channel, like those longer videos have specific topics that I know will work. And some of the topics I know will not work. Um, so with the experience that I've gained over the years, I know some of the videos about update, they perform really good. And uh, recently I've noticed that talking about the mods have actually shown good results in terms of views. And uh, uh, some of the stuff about um, periods that I was just talking about actually also works so i look at what works on my channel and then i come up with different ideas thinking okay so maybe in theories i can talk about this guy this guy this guy i can talk about the haran wires i can talk about this so here i have like multiple ideas just from one uh 
one, I would say, from one idea I got hundreds, right? Thinking about it. And then I started a series where I would talk about uh, the stuff they release and uh, the future stuff. So there's something called the future update, secret updates, the new update, and then the um, the problem with the the, the update with the, with the upcoming DLCs. So that opens up a lot of um, a lot of doors for me. Well, that's how I come up with my ideas. Because I know this works, so I have uh, multiple ideas coming from just one idea. Because you know, they release a lot of content. All you gotta think about is is uh, just put that idea. And mix it with the with the new content. There you go. You guys get a new video idea right there. But always the old ones work. You know, like the uh, the new update ones. Everybody's video, if you see. Just put a new update at first and see how your video does good. <laughs> yeah. Because people want to see the new update. Yeah, man. And when there is a new update. Everyone will look up on YouTube thinking, oh, we just I'm not just got an update, but I, I saw the patch notes. It doesn't explain to me anything better. Maybe yeah. I gotta watch something on YouTube and you watch my video because it's out there. So you're like, oh. So that's how you know that works. So that's an idea. And then you have uh, some of the ideas, some of the uh, updates that are not listed in the in the in the patch notes. So that's secret updates. You see, that's one idea from around there. I know. Yeah. That's how I come up with ideas. <laughs> I had my little secret update video, and it. it got me a little bit it it got over 5,000 views and I think That's like good. 60 subs yeah and bro since look at I... your subscribers right look at your subscribers and then see amount of amount of views you're getting that's a good amount of views right like yeah. 5,000 is not bad considering how many uh like subs you have right now if you had like a like let's say the amount of subscribers as me and then you're getting 5,000 only that's bad right Something is wrong, <laughs> but what you have right now, that is really good. If you start getting that amount of views for all videos, I'm pretty sure your channel will start blowing up pretty soon. Yeah, that like you said. Now I just got to figure out to turn the how to turn those five thousand into five thousand subs, or like see, we were working. talking about. Yeah, see what's working. Go for the sub. I like see. There's always a one category, and there's under under those there's like a lot of subcategories. So look for those. You will easily find it. Like for me, when I look for update, which is the category, under that we have new update, secret update, you know, future update. I'm talking about those things. Those will give you a lot of ideas like that. So think about it. What works for you? Then think, what is the main category for you in that? What is the what is the video work for you? I think the new update, right? A secret update. Okay. Try a new update next time. Try future update, a new update, and then see. I will do wonders. Just an idea. I <laughs> come up with ideas like that. Sentient Volatile video? Yes, sir. I made that video thinking it will be a good idea to talk about the Sentient Volatiles. Because um, I'm doing theories and uh, it will be good to talk about something like that. Like the mother. And because now I see nobody else talking about it. I see nope. everybody talking about Aiden being superhuman. Yep. Nobody's talking about the, uh, the Sentient Volatiles from the first game. Everybody's talking about them having a faction in the, in the sequel, but nobody is talking about the facts. So I came up with a really good theory that makes so much sense, and everybody, they all, they related to that, they liked it. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I know that worked. <laughs> yeah, that video actually did really good. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's, that answers your question. That's how I come up with ideas. I think about one, the video that did wonders, then I go under, I, I look for on the subcategories. What's your whole, do you have a goal or like something you're working towards? When, when will you be satisfied with what you've accomplished with your channel? I want to get a million subscribers, first of all, which is not going to be that easy. <laughs> but uh, my, 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 I didn't have this goal back then, but now I have a goal that I want to get, uh, not even, actually, everybody aims to get a million and then, you know, even get 10 million, which is going to give you a, a diamond play button nowadays. But my plan was never to get this stuff. But now I do have these plans. I want to get the, I want to get the, uh, the gold play button. I already have the silver play button, which I've. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, but I want to. I want to show people, uh, 
the achievement, which is going to be the gold play button with the 1 million subscribers. At the same time, I want to get a sponsor, not a normal sponsor that I do, um, you know, in, in random videos. I'm talking about a sponsor that stays with you for, for years or for months. Uh, a partnership kind of sponsor, like, a, you know how Red Bull gives sponsorships to people? Yeah. Who stream, the streamers mostly. Like those kind of sponsors. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying. I, right now, I don't do face cams and everything, but definitely I see myself doing that in the future. Um, but I don't do. Uh, I'll tell you the reason I don't do the face cams. I'm gonna be real honest. My, uh, I have a, um, my, my, like I have a, what do you call those things? Um, I'm, like I don't sleep properly. Bags so under your eyes. Sorry. You have bags under your eyes? Or like red, you got red eyes? Oh, red, yeah. The red eyes and all that stuff because I don't sleep properly. Dude, people will just think you're high. <laughs> sort of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, because of that, you know, it's, uh, it's, yeah, and it gets, it's good worse, you know, sometimes um, when you don't sleep properly for two days. Yeah. I'm red, it turns black. But then you, when you when you sleep properly, it, it goes back becoming red, as it changes color. And dude, it's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't look good on camera. Obviously, I can fix it by applying ice on it, which fixes it temporarily. So I can easily do stream like that. But then, uh, come on, man! Imagine color changing during the stream. <laughs> that's gonna be so messed up. But then, um, that's my insecurity. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. But it I made my, uh, yeah. It, it shows that you're a human, though, man. It shows that you have, you still have, you know, human emotions and that you have insecurities just like everybody else and you still have this successful channel. Like, it's okay to oh, be yeah. insecure. Like, And also, and also I've, I've started gaining the weight because I don't go out much thanks to Dying Light, too. <laughs> Damn it, Dying Light. <laughs> Damn it, Dying Light. I'm going to put the blame on them. <laughs> <laughs> even, even though I could, I could go out during the day, but then again, I don't sleep the whole night. Then imagine how how would I go out during the day, uh, you know, going for a run or doing exercises? I can't because I'm I'm not sleeping. Right. And that's very bad for my health, you know, not sleeping. So uh, that's really bad for my health. I'm I'm so I'm because of me gaining sudden weight and all that stuff. I'm also getting all the stress and everything so it's very bad for health like i said youtube is not easy it's not for everybody you got to take a lot of stress too yeah and then um when well like i said about the sponsors you know everybody thinks oh sponsor means good money no dude read the stuff they give you you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna go crazy when you read all the stuff they give you all the instructions it's crazy dude yeah uh, i kind of have you know I, without actual evidence i have my suspicions on what it would be like to work for and with a sponsor yeah. dying life prayers of creative sleep be like you're becoming high yeah you become high yeah i think my goal one of the goal is for techland to like repost my fan art designs and get the fellow get, <laughs> get a follow okay i mean they can definitely retweet your stuff like your stuff if you if you tag them yes and if they're not seeing it, tag me. I'll make sure they see it. Spam it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna spam. But hey, um, <laughs> because some of the some of the people follow me, so when I retweet something, it will, it will show up in their in their. Take care, uh, Gabriel. In the in their timeline, basically, it will show up. I need to learn politics first. <laughs> Get a work application in general. Yeah, I, I don't I speak. I don't speak any other languages. I know I do not um, yeah. want to learn Polish. I would learn if um, if I was living there, and if I was going there often, which I don't. Me neither. Yeah, so no point in learning, because they speak in, uh, they speak decent English, very good English actually. So it's, it's like I I I'm, when I'm communicating with them, I a lot of them are really good English speakers. Uh, some of them who are originally from Polish, obviously they're going to have issues uh, explaining some of the stuff. Right. You know how, you know how I some, sometimes think, take a second to think what I'm about to say? Yeah. That's what they do. Uh, but some are even slower than that. But 
some people like sherry and everything i don't they're not originally from poland if i'm right but they speak really good english like american english stuff stuff i think that's that's what they're from but i don't know for sure <laughs> but yeah i've spoken to all of them and i've uh, seen people um but their accents basically give it off you know the accents will tell you like my accent I think you do a pretty uh, good, pretty, you do pretty well. I, there hasn't, you, I haven't misunderstood you at all. Dude, um, I remember one of the, one of the PR managers from Techland, her name was Ola. And, uh, I, she asked me, where are you from? When I told her I'm from India, and she was like, really? Because she, she really thought I'm from a different country. And I was like, no. <laughs> She thought I was from a country where, where, where people speak English. Obviously, they, she, she never spoke to me, right? She must have seen my videos where I'm, like, speaking very perfect English. Right. Which, uh, if I if I have to show you all the bloopers, which I might because I have a plan to uh, put out bloopers in my videos, you will literally laugh because the stuff I do when I'm recording my voice, like, I'm literally making stupid noises sometimes. Because... <laughs> If you have watched my video, you know how I, I speak really, 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 really fast. Yep. Very, very, like very fast. Imagine thousand words. If somebody's doing thousand words in like a minute, I, they, there's a software where I check that um, when I when I make my script, I go to the software and I see how much time will that take me to complete, you know, uh, the recording in. To say um, <laughs> To say yeah. all the words, and, I, and I'm checking it, and it says. Um, you're gonna, it's gonna take you 10 minutes and I'm like okay that's perfect for a video right I mean, it's all right I do that recording in six minutes so I'm like <laughs> that's screwed up right trying to speak as fast as you can in order not to make the video drag out really long and stuff exactly and that's the problem people uh, people watch videos that are big but at the same time if, the, if your video is big and has a really good title it's gonna do really good but those, um, if your video is good and the video is uh, like small, like really short, why did I say small, I don't know, but short, <laughs> it might and might not work, depending on the kind of content you're making. It matters, right? Like uh, for some people, the short videos do great because they're making uh, short videos on purpose. What I'm talking about is informative videos. That's not gonna, that's not gonna do good. Right. But that video, eight minute or not 10 minute long, will do wonders. So that's what happens. I don't speak when when you when you see my video that uh, uh, that I made like eight minute long video or seven minute long video. That originally is a ten minute or fifteen minute long video. I'm just speaking fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying so many words so quickly. Sometimes I watch my video. I'm like, why am I speaking that fast? <laughs> what did I just say there? <laughs> like, what am I doing? Because if I, if I, see, if I understand my own words, then definitely I feel like other people will because I'm not speaking gibberish, I'm speaking in English. <laughs> Obviously, some of, the, some, of the, some of the pronunciations will be very different. That's why I have subtitles, so anybody can click on that. I really put time in making subtitles for everyone, for all my audiences that watch this thing from all yeah. the different countries. So I have like 12 different yeah. subtitles on my channel. And people appreciate that when I put it because I know they're watching this stuff, which is really nice because imagine somebody from Russia who doesn't speak English watching my video. Someone from Pol Poland doesn't speak English is watching my video. I guess like, I never he, thought about that. He's watching my video. It doesn't make any sense to him, but he's still reading the subtitles and that's really nice. YouTube tells me they're watching the subtitles, which is really nice to read. So that's why I put a lot of time into my subtitles. Maybe people. I need to open up mine. As yeah, well. do that. But it's really good. It's, it's good. It's subtitles to help. Just look at it. The, uh, go to analytics and see what kind of uh, uh, like where is the audience from? Which country? Uh, it's mostly the audience from. Get those subtitles, subtitles out. I'm sure people are gonna appreciate that. Next time when I make another fan, definitely, definitely do that. Tag me. I absolutely will. Welcome back, Gabriel. Gabriel. That on turning to expand. My man Gabriel never talks about himself. Do you talk about yourself, Gabriel? You always talk about uh, games like Dead Eye on Two, Dying Light, Modern Warfare. Talk about yourself. I want. I want to really know him now. <laughs> <laughs> Who might think? 
bring Gabriel, dude. I want to talk to him. Netra like said he... the first time his voice was revealed was with you and Aussie on a video. First time my uh, voice has been revealed. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah, right. He's right, he's right about that. I, I watched the video from Oni, and um, uh, that's the first time I heard him talk, Netro, because his, he, he gave his voice there. He answered a question, so I was like, okay. <laughs> Do you know how to fix the online bug? What, I, what bug? Yeah, the, there's there's probably 17 <laughs> at the very <laughs> least of different different bugs that there are. Do you know about the manual swing when you're on a ledge? This thing. Where is the ledge? I don't even know where you went. Oh, there you are. I'm right here. Oh, there's a ledge right there. Where I'm at. Just looked like you were swimming through the air. Oh, dude. Like I said, co-op. <laughs> it's messed up. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. I entered this place full of zombies. All sleeping. Good. I do not know about the manual swing on a ledge. Cheeto, Cheeto so fast. When you hang off something, tap the attack button. You do that with the parachute as well. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure you see me doing that. Look, when, I, when I'm doing this, see, I'm on a paraglider. Yeah. And I don't know you... if you can see anyone. And then you do your little kick. That's how I've gotten all my platinum medals. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Those crazy runs, I've seen them. <laughs> dude. Uh, oh, dude, it's good, dude. Come on. It's not easy to get platinum. Oh, right. no, no, but I, it was like, I, I probably over yeah, the, 700 there were moments tries. Up. There, were moments that, there were moments I know that you could have got... Better. You know, pretty early, yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty early in, in those challenges. Better scores. But it's all good. You at least got platinum, which I struggle in sometimes. Yeah, I got platinum in all of them. Maybe not the... I know... Oh, I guess they didn't. I don't know. They should They should put some new ones just, out. I just saw a common disappear right in front of my eyes. Oh, yeah, I, I, was, my, I was reading that. My first language is Spanish and something, and I'm oh, gone. That's what happened. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to catch it either. You were too quick. Fa you. You were too fast. You just. All right. Got. Got any other questions for me, my friend? Throw it. Throw Where? some questions at me. I'm ready. Not flare. What am I gonna do for the flare? Flare. Flare during the daytime. What am I gonna do with that? So you like kind of got any questions? You kind of already talked about, you know, your your end goal. You want to hit a million subs. So. And sponsor. <laughs> yeah, and your sponsor. Once you do that, let's say next year, you know, hypothetically, you hit your million subs. What's life gonna be like after that for you? What would you oh. What would you do? Do you feel like you I could mean, finally relax and not work 24-7? Get rid of them mm, them red eyes? <laughs> no, no, no. I feel like the... Dude, with, the, with that kind of, I would say... Um, with the amount of... Uh, what do you call it? The subscribers I will have. The yeah. amount of views I'll be getting. The amount of uh, sponsors I'll have. I'll have a lot of responsibilities. I'll have a lot of pressure. I would have a lot of uh, work to do. I can't sit there... You know, chilling, like ah, my life's done. But yeah, definitely, I will be satisfied that I've reached the goal, and uh, I feel like with every goal I reach, I'm gonna have a new goal. A new right? Goal. Because you never get satisfied enough. See, I I don't know. I feel like I don't I don't know if I'm capable of anything like that, and I know uh, I, that's certainly 
Like, Dude, everybody here is capable. It's just everybody needs to do one thing. It's to not freaking give up because, dude, yes. it's very easy to give up. Yep. Imagine not getting views for almost two years and you will give up. Obviously, why would you work for two years on a, on a channel that's not doing anything? But then what if your channel blows up the third year? Right. Right? And maybe you, because you didn't try, it never happened. But it could happen, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe do experiment. Maybe try to understand why it's not working. So anybody can do it you're doing stuff and it's not working like for me when when something happens like uh, this is something me and Oni does I will, I will say this okay so when me and Ani when we upload a video and the video is not performing good we experiment with the title you might have seen our title changing our thumbnail changing we do that because we know that could be the only reason why it's not working if yep. those things doesn't work then at the end of the day we we we, we get an idea that hey, okay this topic is not gonna get a lot of views because people are not interested in this topic that's how we do our stuff on, on YouTube you you learn yeah. right and that's that's how you make changes yeah so we keep making changes to see if it works or not if it doesn't work you know that either the video that you made a topic that is not that interesting or it's either with the thumbnail or the title so that's what we do we never we never literally give up we, we, we work yeah all I, the know. Time. <clears throat> I know I've I've kind of going through stuff like that where you you know i put out something and it doesn't nothing happens and i'm like okay well maybe if i word it differently or you know change something about the thumbnail and then all of a sudden it's like oh there okay that's what it was here we go starting to get views how do we come here <laughs> come here come here i'm gonna show you something also like i said i, I i've also uh been days in a video that I thought would get a lot of views, but then it didn't even reach, you know, 10, 20 K views. So it hurts working so hard for a, for a video like that. And yeah. I'm not getting that many views. Oh, you see this thing? Show this to the clan. L look where I'm looking at. So come, come to my location. Yeah. How, how would you complete that parkour? Do you see it? <laughs> you see it? Hmm. There's multiple places like that. I uh, I've had somebody send a similar some send me a similar thing just like that on uh, on uh, I think it was on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Somebody sent me a DM on Twitter. It was it was yesterday, and I saw the exact same thing on a different location. That's crazy. Yeah. So check my <laughs> step your game Hope up, boys. It. Hope to see it. You wanna go knock out a parkour challenge? Life's train to Haran was suggested. Ah, oh, bro, nah, that shit sucks. I don't like it. I fail all the time. I'm just so bad at it. You I'll there already? I'll, I'll carry you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, carry me. I'm cool. Or you can ask me a question as, as well. By the time you carry me, I'll answer the question. Oh my Wait. god, I'm spying in my broom. That, that I'm one. I see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was supposed to be. <laughs> Ali is in Wonderland is the name of this one. That's you, dude. Mm -hmm. I thought I it was know. less trained to Haran. <laughs> Waiting for other players to decide about the challenge proposal? Yeah, it says on the map that this one's less trained to Haran. Yeah. So, I guess it's broke. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this one. It also says Drunken Ali in there. Alright, let's go. What do you like to do when you're not filming, rocking YouTube stuff, or you know, if you if you have any free time whatsoever, what are you doing? Uh, Netflix. Netflix and Netflix, chill. Netflix. Yeah, me and my girlfriend, we we both like watch Netflix shows. Ah, Mrs. Ali. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you missed it. Dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Okay. Come on. You were gonna help me. What is happening? <laughs> oh, dude, we're drunk. I am drunk. This is getting worse. 
are you gonna fail this thing? Ah! Oh, no! I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh no, I didn't get it. Shit! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Dude, you're supposed Can't to come and look around. around. What is he doing? <laughs> I have no clue. There he goes. Uh, I'm going to fall. Nah, there you go. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, I'm running out of stamina most likely. And I should be falling down quickly. This is the last of the... I hate thing. this thing. These zip lines are pissing me off. Okay, I'm here. Where you at? I'm Dude! way behind. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to carry me. Uh, We're gonna fail this, you know that, yeah, right? Yeah, I can't... I can carry you when I'm sober, but when they make me get drunk against my will... <laughs> Dude, um, I was. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's definitely a fail. I'm gonna fall down. See? Look, you did better than I did. I because I've done this. <laughs> I've beat. I've got a gold here. Yeah, I've never done this one. Let's. That's I got funny. a gold, and I know how much I struggle to just get that. I think the hardest one for me was the Night Runner Trial 3. I probably did that one at least 300 times. <laughs> did you want to do it again? Yeah, I'll try it's one Ali more time. And and like it was an Easter egg. That's Ali and Haran. Hey, so yeah, people are saying it's my Easter egg because there's also a blueprint that you get with it. It's called the... Uh, the the early scarecrow, which uh, I don't know. there's something I'm not gonna spoil, but I'm pretty sure people are gonna love. But I don't know. Did what it is. Fucking shit! Did he fell again? Yo. <laughs> Like four skill, come on! I'm not gonna go down, and save you. Because you're gonna, sp yeah, oh, bro. That's not fair. Now it says it's waiting for you to finish. Bro, that's cheating. Come on, go, 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 go. Take it, take it, go, go, go. Bro, he's sleeping on. We sleeping or something? I'm just drunk. I'm just, I'm just drunk. I'm just drunk. Oh, not in the real life. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I was gonna fall. Gamer Mom Game is Mom. in Dying Light, too. You mean the Easter egg? Yeah. <gasps> With her, the um. Note, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I That's remember a... she was really happy when she saw that. Really happy for her. Yeah. Dude, it's really nice to see your Easter egg in the game come. That's the that's like the best feeling for any content creator or anybody who's been playing the game for like years. Right. Well, you had, dude. I'd be. I know. I for sure would be stoked if I ever saw like a little. You know, it's a little train. toy on, train dude. or something. Yeah, like a little toy train or something. Okay, good about the train. We just missed the train. We need to catch a train. Come on. Where you at? Right behind you. All right, come on. Don't 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 you follow me. We gotta be faster. This whole drunk thing, man. Oh no, I'm drunk. I fell down. <laughs> no, a train. <laughs> oh, oh it's gone, dude. We failed again. Yeah. I killed myself. Trust me, I don't want to do this because I've done it so many times and I've, I've literally, literally failed so many times. It's not the wonder. 
It's not. I can't even. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it's not even letting me move. Uh, so, according to the game files, you were supposed to get a blueprint for finishing this thing, but uh, I finished it and we never got it. Hmm. Yeah. I did the gold and I never got anything. So. Makes sense. You know, it's broken. Take who land in on itself. All right, man. We've been in this this stream for almost three hours. I don't know about you, but I'm getting kind of hungry. And um, huh? I'm sleepy. You're sleepy? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What is it? If it's three here, it's like what? Like 12.30 in the morning. Yeah. So I got one more question for you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll say our little thank yous. And we'll, we'll go ahead and let you go and get your sleep, man. But yeah. my last question for you is if in five years you you know well not even five years let's just say you never hit a million would you ever you like would you ever give up would you ever just stop would you ever just one day give up and you know or even do it part-time would you would you ever put your channel on the back burner to go on doing something else that you might find more fulfilling? Um, not honestly, because uh, uh, the reason why I don't think I'm gonna go uh, look for a you know, different job and do this like part time, uh, because YouTube, YouTube is basically, it has given me everything, right? I've made friends, I've, uh, I've had a lot of connections, I've, I've, I've actually spent a lot of years just making content. This is something I enjoy. Um, and at the same time, you know, when I see the comments from the audience, all, all the people that everybody watches, all my videos, I really enjoy it and I love the feeling, so I'm definitely going to put this always as a priority. It's not going to be, uh, you know, I'm not going to do another job and do this part time. This is going to always be my main because I love this thing. I love, enjoy, I really enjoy this making videos, playing games, obviously, who doesn't love playing games, but then making videos on it, you know. People looking for your content, that's the best feeling out there. Yeah, man. And I don't have any boss, like, I don't have anybody above no. me. No. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm chill. It's all my, it's, it's like a channel that I control. I have control over everything. And obviously, my audience has control over it. <laughs> because they can decide, right, what they want to watch and what they want, they want to watch. So, yeah, I listen to them and they help me grow. That's how it works. But so, you yeah, don't. Definitely, you don't have anything else that you might, you know, might seek to pursue eventually in the future? Like, uh, you know, maybe um, one day you're like, you know what? Plan. Yeah, yeah, I do have a plan for something, but this is not going to affect my YouTube channel at all. Because it, this is always going to be my first priority. But um, this is like a personal thing, but I will say it because it's not, uh, not going to cause any problem, right? So um, I'm thinking about, like, we were thinking about starting uh, like a like a restaurant, right? For the like a family restaurant in the future. So I have plans. Me and my wife, like we're gonna start this thing. Um, gonna start with a small restaurant, then it's gonna, we're gonna expand it. But it's not gonna interfere with my YouTube career. And we 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 decided that. Like I'm definitely gonna just focus on my videos and all that stuff. But yeah. I we're think that would be that would be awesome, man. Like I love it's, it's cooking. It's always good. See, it's always good to have a plan B. I would say that for everybody watching <laughs> this thing right now, I would tell: make sure you're not satisfied with just one source of income, because it can always like you never know when that should end, right? Right. So make sure you have two sources of income. So doesn't matter if the second one is lower, but make sure you have it because something when to the fall back one, on. If, yeah, if something happens with the first one, hope it doesn't happen with anybody. But if something happens, you always have a plan B. You have a source, it's the second source of income. That's why I'm, that's why we have a plan for uh, the the future restaurant. That uh, if um, you know if YouTube in the future, we don't, we don't, nobody knows the future of YouTube. So if something happens to YouTube in the future, I'll have something to that, that will definitely. On. Yeah, that, because I I will have a family, right? Mm -hmm. So I need to. Feed the mind. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of what do you call it? Uh, 
I, I, I will need a lot of money to, to keep, take care of my wife, my, my baby, and all this stuff, the future stuff, basically. So, if YouTube is not going to work in the future, you know there has to be something. That's why second house. Yeah. And, but of course, also doesn't matter. It's your choice. No, <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, for to anybody who, who might catch that, like, if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, in no way, shape, or form should anybody quit their job and pursue YouTube full time. Never, yeah. Look Never. at that as a hobby for now. And then, you know, once once you get to a level where you you know, you can use your YouTube source of income to pay for your life and also have more money still to save, that's when you quit your full time job. You give your boss you can the do, finger, oh, and then you leave. Honestly? Okay, I'm going to talk about... Sorry, yeah, sorry to interrupt. Uh, no, you okay, buddy. We have a channel here in India. It, uh, it's, it's called Technical Guruji. That's a channel here who, is ta who talks about uh, like only technical stuff, right? TVs, phone. Every, every, basically, uh, it's a big channel, right? Like well over 10 million subscribers. And uh, he has a job in Dubai. And uh, that guy... He's very busy, right? He's very rich. He's already rich. He's in Dubai. He's rich. So his yeah, job right. is big. And he spends his whole day just doing his job. But during the night, he comes back and he makes YouTube videos and earns a lot more than what he earns in his job. So he's doing both things for years. And he's the most successful guy I know uh, like as a content creator. And he earns a lot of money, dude. And he's very happy. He's, 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 he has a, he has an iPhone. Can you imagine? He, he carries a phone, that's that's more than what I've earned on my on my YouTube career so far. <laughs> so nice. imagine how rich that guy is because he is doing both of the stuff. So you don't have to leave a job to do YouTube, or if you want to do YouTube full time, you're thinking about not getting a job. Get both things right. Do both things. Right. Just work hard for now. In the future, you'll definitely enjoy. You know when when you're settled you'll definitely enjoy that moment i, I promise you that you struggle now there's a little bit of struggle for just now, a little bit yeah. hard work definitely pays off i want to re off. reiterate with that for him and there's one more thing i want to express to anybody who watches or might watch man life is short so you should probably get busy living or get busy dying an old shawshank redemption quote if you got stuff you want to do, do it, man. Like, life is yeah. short, and we are all vulnerable. Anybody can go at any minute. So if you got stuff you want to do, you should probably get on doing it. Stop being afraid, and you don't listen to anybody. <laughs> don't yeah, exactly, man. Follow your heart, and also take time for people that are in your life that you love. Make sure they know that you love yeah, them. Yeah, give, give, give them time there. Yeah, that, that's something I forgot to mention. Give them your time because I've seen a lot of people, especially a lot of people I know, uh, you know, they passed away. So yeah. I'm telling you, uh, just just spend time with your family, with your friends and everybody because you never know what's going to happen. Actually, <laughs> anybody can be gone anytime. Absolutely. We just we just had a death in the family two days ago and I had... I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, it was my yeah. cousin, and I, I haven't talked to her in probably five years, and now I'm just sitting here like, dude, if only I, just, just take time to make sure that the people that are in your lives know that you love them, like, find a reason to say I love you, like, it's, we need to normalize saying I love you more, it's not a bad thing, and people treat it like it okay. is, but... Like, dude, I, I love you, bro. I think, thank you for everything, man. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with us today and open up and, you know, let us in. We didn't really get, we, we kind of got super carried away on, on Bash and Tech Land. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, it's all right. But thank you for letting us into your life, man. And, you know, uh, to I, I, I look forward to our future endeavors together, man. It's We got a lot of fun to be had still. 100%, yeah. All right, and uh, you go ahead and get you some sleep, buddy. You have a good night, and uh, guys. Before we go. Huh? Before we go, look behind you. Before we go, show Watch. them this thing. There's another one, too. <laughs> I <Enjoy. laughs> Dude, the, 
This is... I, I feel like... Has this always happened? No, they, re they recently started messing up this stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, because I've never seen this shit happen before. Timon, uh, like we love you, but y'all got to get your shit together. Like, you know, <laughs> get all of your shit and put it in a ball and get it together. And just get it together, boys. Just get it together, all just right. get it together. Sir, sir goodbyes to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Gabriel, Necho, thanks. Thank you all for hanging out. Cheetah. Anonymous user, love you, love all you guys, man. It's brass on the pallets. You have, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, oh, that can happen. Grass on the pallet. Yeah, that can happen. That can happen. If there's dirt on it, then it can happen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah. We've already spoken for a lot of time. I will say my goodbye here. Thank you for having me here, and thank you everyone for joining. I'm getting go. Get some sleep, and you also uh, gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I'm out. Bye, yeah. I'm See out. you, buddy. Good night. I'm out. Good night. Yeah. Ali is on a whole different time zone, so he's been he's staying up till 1 a.m., 2 a.m., stuff like that to hang out with us. So that's crazy. He's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for you to end the stream, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna right. go get some food, boys, and then we'll probably come back here in a little bit with some Dead Space stuff. So, we'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you, Ali. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Choo-choo. -bye. Hey, let me get one choo-choo. Choo-choo. Damn. It's connected. No, it's... Uh, Choo choo. <laughs> it's alright. We'll pretend he got. 